Hello and welcome to my live stream. It's Mask Mania Monday and I'm here to do some masks. This is just for the replay. You guys already know this. I have two masks and I'm going to see who comes in and participates with me. Hello. So if you're here and you're wondering what mask I'm going to do, I have two different ones to choose from. I have a wild rose and then I have this one that's an aloe mud one. So whatever we choose today. It looks like someone's coming in and coming out, but either way, I will tell you a little bit about the mask. So the Wild Rose is a hydrogel gold mask, and it's supposed to be a hydrating rose gold gel mask that's uh, loaded with collagen, gold and rose extracts, and it's supposed to help hydrate, reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it leaves your skin smooth and glowing all over. Then the other one that I'm going to potentially do is a mud mask, but this one is really fancy. It has like gold flowers on it, so I'm excited about that one too. I can see someone there, but no one's saying hello. And it's a little early. I said that I was going to come. Hello. Hi, Krista. How are you? <laughs> you just got here. Well, you're the first one here, so... You made it. <laughs> You're the first one. How are you today? I was just talking to the camera and telling the camera what mask I'm going to be doing. I have two different ones. Uh, one that I hope I'm not allergic to, but the other one seems promising. Good, you watched. Oh, you saw my Niagara Falls video? Oh, it's so amazing over there. I love it. <laughs> you hit the you hit the like. Oh, thank you, um, Dr. Fish. <laughs> you love masks. Oh, I I am in love with them. So uh we're in the same boat. <laughs> I have a huge collection of masks, but I mask often, so it's not like I buy them and then they just sit there or something. If you see me looking down, my computer's always like right below me so that I can read what people are saying because it's hard for me to to read the little writing on my phone. So what's going on? I usually um, come in a little bit later in the night, but today I wanted to start a little bit earlier so that I can be on so late I see someone else in there too well my number keeps going up and down so what type of mask do you typically like <laughs> all my perfumes behind yeah I'm I have like a collection addiction <laughs> I have everything in multiples <laughs> that's uh something I always I always have a lot of perfumes and a lot of masks and I have a lot of eyeshadows too. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I have I have a 
I have a collection for everything. Lippies, nails, everything. Do you collect anything in particular? You love the Glam Glow uh, Sonic Blue Mask. You know the Glam Glow is not my favorite. Um, I had a allergic reaction to it. So I no longer, like, I'm just scared to put that particular mud mask on my face. So I don't buy anything um, that's Glam Glow. Yeah, I think I have something from them in my drawer, and because I'm not sure how my skin's going to react to it, I haven't even touched it. Oh, and you like peel-off kinds, too. I like, uh, well, I've never really done too many peel-off ones, because my skin's kind of hairy. Like, my face is hairy. I got peach fuzz. But, um, I usually, I wouldn't, like, I would do them, but I typically don't. <laughs> you hear me over here talking about my collections <laughs> it stinks because I, oh because it's a lot of money yeah um the uh I think maybe one of these days I'll do one of those peel off masks but I'm just like I'm not ready for it to like really like pull at my hairs <laughs> So, um, out of the two masks that I did pull out, which one would you like to see more? This is a Wild Rose, and this one's an Aloe Mud Mask. This one has, like, little, uh, prints of flowers in gold. This one is supposed to be, like, I don't know if it's going to be pink and, uh, if it's going to have some glitter inside of it. <laughs> you always feel like Hannibal Lecter with the whole face ones. <laughs> uh... That's that's funny because like I typically feel like that too, but I don't think about it so much because I've always like I do them so often, so it's kind of normal. <laughs> I know that people are like, "Oh, you look funny," or they feel funny when they put them on, but I don't. I'm so used to it already. <laughs> so you didn't tell me which one you would like to see better. Option one or option two? The gold one? The... This gold one? With the flowers? Or rose gold? Because... I'm not sure which one. I think I came on too early. <laughs> People don't know that I'm here. Yes, the clear bag, this one. So, I'm going to tell you what this one is supposed to be. Like, besides it being like an aloe mud mask, it says, because this is from my um, face Tory. So, this one says, surprise, we know how popular our lace masks are with our subscribers. So, here's another one from No Heal. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's like no and then HJ or I don't know if that makes a weird sound. Anyway, to pamper yourself occasionally. This one is a aloe leaf, uh, aloe vera leaf extract and it has anti-inflammatory properties to smooth the skin of its irritations. You were saying something. <laughs> it sticks. <laughs> Not how loud it sticks with it if you want. Okay. Um, sorry, I was gonna read the rest of this it's great skin restoring moisturize moisturizing ingredients help reduce the appearance of blemishes and improves sorry and provides additional benefits for aging skin <laughs> I can't read today and then it has lemon extract that contains vitamin C and citric acid to protect your skin from damage such as acne and the works to promote bright and glowing skin for some reason I can't read you've never done a lace one I've never done like a lace because I've seen the lace ma uh, masks but I've never tried them either do they have anything on them or is it just like a lace mask 
I mean, I will stay here with you if you want. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, give me one second. Let me... Because it's going to tell you that you're talking too much. So, I'm going to moderate you. That way it doesn't tell you that you're talking too much. <laughs> um, the... I've never done the lace one, so let's go ahead and do this one together. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes when I'm at other people's lives and I'm typing too much, because I talk a lot too, I get blocked and it says you're talking too much. And please, yes, stay here with me. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And this one's like three US dollars. I don't know where they sell it at though. But I know that it's super pretty. It's juicy. Oh wait, I took it out. I should have done this first. Hold on. I'm gonna lay it right there. You had no idea. <laughs> you had no idea. I have this ma um not mask. It's a headband. My friend Summer sent this to me, and um, you know, it's good when you do face masks, so that, I don't know, I just like them, <laughs> so I'm going to wear my little bunny ears. These kind of make me feel like, do you, have you ever seen Bob's Burgers? Uh, if you did, his daughter Louise has this little hat that she wears that has bunny ears, <laughs> so... These bunny ears kind of like remind me of it. Alright, so here's the face mask. Isn't that pretty? This is so pretty. Alright, let me make sure that everything is like... Look, there we go. Oh, this is... I feel like I have it in the wrong spot. This is so pretty. <laughs> Glam Hannibal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't like massaged my face in a while. Yeah, I don't know if you can see how pretty this is. I don't know if it picks up with the camera. But it's like super cute. Okay, so it's 710 over here. And of course this is in, I can't read it. But it's supposed to be on for, uh, it would have helped if I read it before I put it on, right? Um, it is really pretty, yes. Let's see. I need a, you know how it's like clear so I can't read the lettering, it's all in white. How to use, okay, 15 to 20 minutes. So I said it was 710, which means I'll take it off. I'm going to do the full 15 minutes. So what's that? Um, 25? Uh, 725? Did I count that right? And let's see if this one like dries out quickly. I'm trying to like take out whatever's left in here to put it on my neck. I have to massage this little like my double chin I always massage it so that it doesn't get hard right here I don't know um I don't know how old you are but like I feel the older you get the more like weird lumps you find on your body or like, things that were softer like places like let's say right here under your chin this was like soft before and now I have like it's it's just hard so I massage it so that it can go away. Am I the only one that feels that way? Like you find weird weird bumps or things that didn't feel that way kind of feel like that now. Like you just don't know why it feels different. I see more people here. Someone say hello. <laughs> There's people lurking not saying hello 
<laughs> Look at me. I'm more. Oh, hi, Spooky. How are you? I knew there was someone else over there. You feel like your face is cracking sometimes? Like cracking like how? Like too dry? Hi, Josie. How are you? Um, <laughs> do you see my mask? You're good? I'm good. I've been really good. Like wrinkles. Oh my goodness. Do you mask often? Because I feel like uh, collagen masks are really good for, you know, when your skin is starting to age. It looks cool. <laughs> I know I've been wanting to wear it for a while I wanted to I wanted to use this one for a while but I was doing a summer like summer mask for a while and this one didn't go in the theme of summer but today was kind of chilly so I could do whatever I like <laughs> um so what do you use as serum or what do you use like to anti-age what what's your skin routine and do those things help you You try to use a face oil, which really helps. Um, stop not sinking it. Oh, okay. Does it help with blemishes? This one right here is for blemishes, um, for aging skin, for acne, and it's supposed to um, brighten your skin and give you like glowing skin. Oh, Tom, see, Peter Thomas Raw. Sorry, I can't get the words out of my mouth. His products, I haven't found one that I love. <laughs> you can go trick-or-treating in this one. I'll be lace girl. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> no, I'll paint my face. I don't know what my church is doing, but I think they're going to be doing like an outreach in the park. And I don't know if we're going to get dressed up to go, like, for Halloween. But that's, like, next month. We'll see what, what we do. <laughs> um, and Pacifica. I've never tried any of the skincare from Pacifica. I actually just started a new skin uh, care routine. What is this? Um, what's on my face? What it's called? It's a... Uh, <laughs> Jim... What is on my face? You know what's on my face. It's a face mask, but it's a lace one. Like, well, it's not lace, but it has, like, printed, printed, uh, gold flowers on it. <laughs> it's this, um, it's from Face Story, and it came in this package. And I don't know how to pronounce the name, so it's like, no, and then it's H.J. You <laughs> You really should. It's so affordable. <laughs> That's far. <laughs> far from me and awesome. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> you guys all like are ready for, for Halloween, right? You're 38. Well, I just turned 39. Um, so we're right in the same age category. What I was going to say, Krista, is I... Just recently started some new, like a new facial routine because I've been saying this for a while. Like I don't have a specific facial routine that I love and it's hard because like I really want to have the best facial routine. You feel old. Why Jim? How old are you Jim? I forgot. I don't think you ever told me. And, and thank you for coming in Jim because it's been a while. I haven't been on for like what? two three weeks now um <laughs> you're the only guy again my hubby has to work again he's he always works late <laughs> oh Jim it's okay we could all hang out even though you are a guy uh so what I was saying is so the new products that I've been testing out let me see I have some of them here I've been testing the Lang Lancome Bifacil, but for the face. I don't know if you've seen the Bifacil, the, like, to remove makeup or eye makeup. It's blue, but this one's for the face, and I'm liking this. Oh, it, it isn't a holiday today. No, it's not a holiday today. Not, well, it is, but it isn't for work. It, it is for schools, I think. 
what is it? Uh, it's Rosh Hashanah, right? I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, it's a Jewish holiday. Um, yeah, I, I believe it's Rosh Hashanah. And next week is Yom Kippur. Haven't you used the uh, Kapari coconut makeup remover? I haven't. I haven't used that one. Who makes it? Is that the the Kapari? Is that the the people who make it? I have to look it up. You work for Jews, <laughs> so no work. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um. Years ago, I used to work. Well. I used to work for a company, and I used to work for the sister company, but the owners were, were Jewish, so we got all the Jewish holidays off, too. And it's funny because we also got, like, Christmas off as well, because they weren't, like, biased about, like, what days you can take off. So it was cool. And then the other product that I've been also using, it's also, like, a facial remover. It's also from Lancome. This one, it's the, I don't know how to say this, Lat Gautier Comfort, whatever. It's supposed to remove makeup as well, but it's like a, it's, the, it's funny because both of these are like makeup removers, but they kind of give you like this deep moisturizing, like they, they're, I don't want to say they're oily, but they, it's like a lotion cleanser. So it does like clean it off more gently. You love the Lancome lotion. And you have it too. I love the way it feels. It's Kapari and yes. Um, it lasts forever. You only use it on makeup days. Yeah, my makeup days are like kind of shorter now. Like I don't wear makeup every single day. You're orig originally from Texas and now. Um, originally from Texas. Not too many Jew people here. <laughs> Jewish people here. Look at me. I, what did I say? <laughs> um, yeah. You heard that too. <laughs> um, I don't know that like, well there's everything over here so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I kind of don't, <laughs> I don't, I'm like out of the loop because I don't have any, any friends that are Jewish at the moment that I know of. Maybe I do and they, they just haven't told me anything. And lots of Spanish. But Hispanic <laughs> you met a Jew in Idaho <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're stuck in Ohio where some Amish we have Amish people well not here in Philadelphia but in Pennsylvania like Lancaster there's a whole like little Amish city do you see this I keep picking this up because this little part keeps going down <sighs> yeah I don't know most of the people there's just like a like a lot of different people <laughs> a lot of different races here but I'm trying to like think yeah well, is there more than there's not like one more than the other. <laughs> Gold stash is falling off. Yeah, it is. <laughs> do you, it's like <laughs> what I need to do is like make it a little bit bigger, make the mouth hole. But I think they're like for you to rest. If you rest, it wouldn't do anything. Tons of Amish in PA. Yeah, you rode with some Amish on the Greyhound once and it was like I don't know <laughs> you guys don't ride yeah like uh you thought you, that they didn't ride cars they don't wait they don't ride in cars or I'm confused for some reason I always thought that they didn't use machines that were like operated by like electric I could just be silly and just thinking that there's a lot of Mennonites <laughs> too. I don't, I don't know that I know any. Um, but the, but there's like this whole like, well, it's a Dutch market, but they look Amish. Maybe that's something different. Let me not switch up cultures and not know anything. You know. <laughs> I thought it can't 
it can't be cars but then they were like but then they were on the Greyhound yeah I don't know <laughs> you're not sure if you're spelling that right definitely they definitely ride in cars and such yeah I didn't know either I feel like sometimes like kind of not in tune with what people do and what they don't do culturally so I hope I don't offend anybody by my lack of knowledge <laughs> well I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything there how long do I leave the mask on oh I leave it on for 15 was it 15 minutes that I said earlier this one needs to be on for, it said, uh-oh, I lose track of time. Give me one second and I'll tell you. Oh, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave it on the whole 20 minutes. Um, I started at 710, so that means I'll take it off. I'm going to leave it on for five more minutes. And that should be good. Have you always lived in PA? Yes. Um, I've always, uh, well, since the age of two, I've lived in Philadelphia. Yes. Um, well, there's defi <laughs> there definitely won't be Amish <laughs> there. There's no Amish there. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to see what the results are. I can tell you one thing, uh, because I'm moving around a lot and talking, this part is drying up faster, and it's already lifting a little bit. But there's still, there's still some serum in there. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, Krista, the last, uh, you're going to be right back. Okay, Jim. Uh, the last product is another, is another, um, Lancome, but it's the, uh, the doucher. Du I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a blue bottle. I don't have it here with me. It's a toner. And I've been liking those products, but I don't know if I want to make it like my staple routine. <clears throat> so, besides that makeup remover, what else do you... You didn't tell me what uh, you use as your facial routine. What's it, but what do I use for creams and such? Okay, so... Excuse me. Um, so then I wash, after I do all the cleaning of my face, I've been using a facial cleanser, which I don't love. Um, it's the, um, it's an egg white um, or an egg cleanser, but it's a foaming cleanser. And then as for like serums and things, I use, I'm using up samples, but I have some Clarins um, serums. I'm looking in my drawer because I have a bunch of stuff in here. Like I I use um, the like the serum um, photo. Well, I don't know how to say this. Tensier, this guy, this little. I have a sample of this. Uh, and then I always put on my sleep mask, which is. A watermelon sleep mask by who are they? Um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name. Why can't I remember things? Um, it's gonna come back to me. I'll tell you right now. Once it, once I remember. But it's a sleep mask. Oh, watermelon sleep mask. Who are they? Oh, Lord. You know when you don't purchase stuff for a while, you forget. Um, water, melon, and I have it in the bathroom, but I don't have it here with me, so I never remember the stuff. Sleep mask, um, glow, glow something. Oh, glow recipe. Okay, yeah, I found it. Um, so I always do the sleep mask, and but I switch around within like serums and I don't use moisturizer. I, I mask all the time though. I don't typically like moisturizer, but if I do, I have um 
I have an emol emollient, it's, I think that's what it's called, by Skin Food that I use that's kind of like a moisturizer. Does that answer your question a little bit? I should do like my current facial skin routine, but it's like so hard because I don't always use the same products since I'm like trying to use up everything that I have and I switch around between things. I don't know if I answered you correctly. So I have three more, two more minutes? 27. I got three more minutes with this mask on. But I feel like it's already drying up, especially down here. You use PRT face wash, Capari toner, and the PRT retinol, which you use. Um, then you use the Pacifica moonlight oil I've never used that and the last Pacifica night cream but yes it was like a great answer okay I just because I I vary like I go through these stages I have I do I do use when I do my whole skin routine it's like 10 things that I do 10 steps but because I mask so much I get a lot of like my moisture from masking because it's typically, it's like a serum. And then after this, I'll put on my eye, on like under eye cream. Which I have two different ones. I have a, a make me, what am I saying? Not a community. It's a Genifique. Um, which I can't find in here. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Oh, here it is. What do you recommend for breakouts? Uh, what type of breakouts is it? Is it like, like whiteheads or is it like cystic? Um, for breakouts, I have something that I, um, okay. It depends on like price range too because there's like two different things. Murad makes this face wash that's for acne that is amazing. It tingles but it kills all of the pimples. And then if it's like really bad breakouts, um, throughout your whole face. Oh, uh, I got um, a mask from Dr. Brandt. It's super expensive, but it's like you only use it on those little areas that you have breakouts, and the next morning they're like gone. Whitehead and pimples. Um, whiteheads and pimples. I would say um, try like a, a wash that's like an acne wash. Um, the Murad stuff is like, I want to say it's like $15, but you'll, it lasts for like two or three months. So it depends what you want to pay. But if it's something like you just want something like over the counter at Walmart or something, Acne Free is really good because it has salicylic acid. Sorry, I can't say the word. It's time for this to come off. Um, it has salicylic acid in it and it has um, like that also kills pimples uh, and it's cheap. I'm trying to think because I used to get a lot of acne before. Um, but I used to get cystic acne and the whiteheads, I think I would go with something simple like the... I would go with the acne free. It's sort of like the what's that stuff? Um proactive but just cheaper. Have you used proactive? That stuff is so expensive. Back to the eye creams. My face looks really clean. <laughs> it feels good. It feels really nice. So the the two eye creams that I was talking about was the is a Genifique eye one. It's the Genifique I don't know how to pronounce stuff in French, so I'm not even going to. It's Y-E-U-X. But it's a youth activating eye cream. And then the other one I teeter between is the Belief Moisture Balm. This one really doesn't do too much of anything except for just gives your like give you a lot of moisture under here. When I feel like I've been pulling on my skin too much, I'll use this. And then okay. You can mix apple cider vinegar, uh, like one to five ratio with 
water and use this spraying oh like to spray it on your face and then wash it off i heard about apple cider vinegar and that's super cheap that's like even better than buying any other product and see if that works no you haven't tried it you're gonna try that one which one are you gonna try the apple cider vinegar because you probably have some of that at home it looks really nice <laughs> my face looks good look at my hair that thing just made my hair go everywhere <laughs> both sorry <laughs> yeah but um I had got in my Ricky's cold crush I had got that Murad and I fell in love with it uh let me see if I have I have my empties right here and it's in my empties This is a small bottle of it, but I, I really liked it. It has salicylic acid in it too, and it's an acne, a acne treatment. Why did I say acne like the store? <sighs> yes, brags. And um, it has to be unfiltered and organic. Oh, so she can't just use anything that she has at her house because unless she buys brags. That's, it's so like, <laughs> it's thick like the Braggs is so cloudy for some reason but I know it has like all the minerals inside of it she washed off after 15 minutes just with, oh yes just wash it off after 15 minutes and just with water the mirror yeah that mirror one is really good so now I'm gonna have to go back and buy it it's like six bucks no big deal and it lasts for yeah 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 well the rags is not it's not so expensive but as expensive as like if you were gonna get regular apple cider vinegar that stuff is like a dollar <laughs> it does last forever my husband actually likes to drink it in teas and uh he'll get it we get, we get it all the time because if you get like a sore throat, he has all these crazy remedies and a lot of them need apple cider vinegar and he's like, oh, I want the good kind. <laughs> so, yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead. Let me see. What do my eyes need? Oh, also I mask a lot under my eyes. You drink it for... For GERT and appetite suppressant how do you drink it you drink it mixed with water or how do you do you do it in a tea I'm always like so weird about like drinking apple cider vinegar I'm gonna put this other mask away since we already did one but I have an, an eye under eye mask that I want to try I'm looking for it over here. Where are you? Uh, I have these by Ta Talika. I don't know if you can see that. It's an anti-wrinkle, anti-dark circle, and anti-puffiness eye patch. I've been wanting to try these so bad. And I'm trying to look. Do I need, do I need an eye patch today? Or should I just put on my eye cream yes with water and with some spices but I know they make pills which oh okay I didn't know that they made um it in, in, in pills yes do should I do this one I have so for eye patches I have these I have my crystal collagen ones that I already know what they do I have the Wander brand gold patches and I also have the um the South Main ones that we had got in Boxy a while ago. Well these both came from Boxy. But this one I've never tried out. So maybe I'll just do this one. Okay. She said yes, let's do an eye patch. <laughs> um let's see. First reusable smoothing instant eye patch. What do you mean is reusable? 
I gotta read this because I, I don't know anything about it. Where's the English? Okay. In 30 minutes, wrinkles are smooth and puffiness is reduced. Apply the patches to cleanse skin. Uh, I contour and leave for 30 minutes. That's all it's gonna tell me? <laughs> this has like... Yes, do that one. <laughs> I believe I got these as a gift from my friend Anna. I don't, they don't feel wet. I don't, I'm always like so weird about when you get the eye patches and they don't feel wet. They just stick to your, to your skin. So they have no serum. Okay. We unstick the one the plastic and then you stick this under your eye I always do eye patches now I didn't before I feel like this is in my eyeball <laughs> you think you should try which one what do you want to try I love everything. I, I love trying everything. This sticks on like super stuck to you. If I had to tell you what this, like what the stickiness is, you know those like slap, um, those jelly hands that you slap on to like glass or something and it sticks? That's what this reminds me of. I did a mask one time and it doesn't move. Look at that. I could have used these as like shadow shields when I'm doing my eyeshadow and then I, all the fallout will fall right here. How about that? I did not know. And these have to be on for 30 whole minutes. Dang. That's a lot. They're, they are in my eyeball though. I need to pull it down. Then, um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I'm talking too much. True, <laughs> great hack. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? I was saying something about under eyes. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about the shadow shield. Anyway, whatever. If you guys remind me, if not, I'll keep on on the next topic. So, oh yeah, this is what it was. I remember. <laughs> I once did a mask that felt just like this over the whole face. It was the weirdest thing ever because it just stuck. Like, it just stuck to your face. It had no essence in it. It had, like, no ingredients that you could feel. And I'm like, how much are you really getting from, like, something that sticks? A face mask? You've never done a face mask? Oh, my goodness. Um... I'm trying to think like, uh, well, do you, have you, um, have you ever seen them anywhere that you shop? <laughs> Let, let's start with there. I have a giant collection, so, like, <laughs> I can point you in the right direction when it comes to face masks. Um, Josie, are you, um, Angie's Josie? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, because I want to make sure that I'm talking to the right person. Because <laughs> if you are, then, then I'll have a follow-up thing to say afterwards. <laughs> You guys are quiet. <laughs> so I first got my face mask. The first mask that I ever tried out. Um, I got through BoxyCharm. But fell in love with them. So how did the face mask. Wait. So how did the face mask. That didn't stick work. See. Uh, it made my skin itch. 
so I had to take it off sooner. She said no, nope, laugh out loud. Okay. <laughs> um, it, okay, so how can I explain it? It was a two-part mask. So it was on top, and then it had a bottom part. And, yes, at right Aid. Okay. Um, Walmart also sells a lot of face masks, and they're like two fifty. They usually sell them like two, two for five. So it was a two part mask, and the top part I put on, and it didn't have. I just I don't know how to feel with the like. Like I don't feel any any ingredients, so that was what was weary about it. But the bottom part had like the hair inhibitor, so that you don't um grow more facial hair and that was the part that was making me itch i don't know what in the ingredients made made my skin really itch a lot you said you are <laughs> you are angie's daughter <laughs> i don't know what you're saying because there's a lot going on she's like nope laugh out loud yes at rite aid <laughs> You aren't getting the messages. Oh, I'm, I wasn't getting the messages. <laughs> it was just coming now. Tell me yes or no. I don't know what <laughs> if you're answering my question or not. <laughs> now I'm like, I lost my train of thought again. Anywho, so because it itched, I had to take it off. And I didn't feel like it was doing anything to my skin because I didn't feel the ingredients. Just like right now, I feel like this is doing nothing. I thought you said something else. Anybody there? It just paused. I didn't I don't see anybody saying anything. So I'm going to be quiet because then I don't know if I'm talking to anyone. Krista, are you still there? <laughs> Oh, you know what? She's probably you're probably have to wait a few minutes because it's not letting you type anything. Is that's what going what's going on? It usually tells you you're talking too much. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So then what I was going to say is I have some math. The next time I see you, oh, you're back. Um uh I'm going to give you a mask since I know you personally. <laughs> I just have another friend with your same exact name and I had um I clicked on you and then I was like is that the same person I hope that is a different per like I didn't know which one you were at first I thought you were the whole time but I had to make sure yes yeah, sorry just letting oh <laughs> you were letting me con concentrate on Josie okay <laughs> um <clears throat> well and not that I wouldn't give it to like a complete stranger, but just the fact that you're in my city, I can be like, hey, the next time you come over, or the next time I see you, we can do masks together or I give you a mask and you can try it at home. <laughs> you're here. <laughs> Did it tell you that you were talking too much? Is that what happened? <laughs> so, Jim. <laughs> Do you like makers? <laughs> makers. He doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, I'm receiving the messages late. That's what it is. What is it? <laughs> makers mark whiskey. Because you're Jim Bean. You, you don't get it? You didn't know? <laughs> oh, never heard of it. <laughs> I should step up my game.
<laughs> I I only recognize it because I know um, I, I used to bartend years and years ago so I kind of know a lot of the liquor names <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm behind yes we should have a game night we just had a game night yesterday um but yes uh yeah we should I have a new game we could play I have a bunch of new games you were trying to give your nephew some knowledge on, about history on what he didn't give. <laughs> I don't know if it's this or what, but I feel dizzy. I think it's the fact that I have this like white thing under here. You're trying to... <laughs> I read that twice. I'm going to turn off that light. And I'm gonna drink some water. For some reason, I got dizzy for a minute. And I think it's like, this is messing with my vision. Oh God, don't please, please don't pass out. <laughs> I look like a football player. They're the wrong color. Oh, they should make these in black. And then know these super cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're up too high, but they have to be under your eye. Maybe they're just meant for you to be like relaxed. And like if I look up I'm good but if I look down when I'm reading that's when I get dizzy. So I'm just going to read from up here. <laughs> it's the weirdest things. So my thoughts on these they make you dizzy. <laughs> I could play for the Eagles. <laughs> she said, oh no. And I keep looking down, you know that, right? So if you see me just... <laughs> it's not me. It's the iPads. <laughs> it's, so, it's so weird because like when lights flicker like that too, I get dizzy. I get... Yeah, a lot of things make me dizzy. <laughs> so. That's what your dad. Wait. What was that in your dad live stream? <laughs> I don't. Hi, Nelly. I don't know if I read that correctly. What is that your dad in your live stream? You're asking her if she had her dad in her live stream? Okay. We can step up a day. <laughs> oh, we can set up a day. Yeah, but your mom is never around. Your mom's always at the camp. How am I? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> okay, I thought I was reading it wrong. That's why... Yeah, I'm going to have to like lift this up so that I'm not looking down. I didn't have any of that when I had the other mask on. I got to make room for my stuff. My table is filled with just makeup and brushes and junk everywhere. So I can't see. All right. Let's put, whoop, sorry, <laughs> I just moved the whole camera, oh lord, sorry, I moved it up so that I could actually read, <laughs> you're glad I'm doing good, yeah, I was getting a lot of migraines, when I came back from Canada, I don't know what happened to me, hi Erica, how are you? I came back with a migraine like just here and like just just in this section right here not in the back of my head not and it was just like pre pressure oh sure <laughs> who looks like they're 23 
Let her just look young. What's wrong with that? Why why was I in Canada? I'm sorry guys. My sorry. My phone <laughs> my phone just rang and I forgot to put it on like mute. So it just, you know, it did stuff. Oh jeez. <laughs> I know I froze just for a second. I'm back. I'm back. So I went to Canada on vacation, but when I came back, I came back with like this huge pressure headache and then like it just went away probably like three days ago um well I went to Ontario but I only went to like Niagara Falls we go there every year it's we do like um how can I say it's like our tradition to go there and go to the falls so yeah you love Canada? I love Canada too. <sighs> I love Tim Hortons. I love poutine fries. I love so much stuff. I love hockey. So, like, it's an all-around good for me. <laughs> like, a good place for me. Yeah, I brought back Tim Hortons coffee and it's so delicious. <laughs> Did I miss somebody else? Somebody else was there? Hi, um, dramatic attic I what is it? I goss? <laughs> uh oh. It froze again. I'm good. I feel like it froze. Hi, Blue Ivy. How are you? I'm good. My day was... My day was good. I had a pretty good day. <laughs> if I look crazy, you know, I have eye patches on. I already did uh, my, my mask. <laughs> I just got a message from Cha and she was like, Oh, she must have gone to my Instagram and she's like, oh no, I'm at work. <laughs> it's all good. I know you meant Denny and wrote Demi. <laughs> and she might faint. I might just a little bit. I am, di I'm super dizzy. As soon as I take these off, I know I'm going to be good. <laughs> so I don't know what was causing the tension headaches. I don't know, but they, they just recently left. My mouth is dry. Mm. What else? Um, yeah, so we did like all the... Norm this time around, I was going to do different stuff when I went to Canada. But because I went with my mom and she had never gone before, I wanted her to see the falls. You're going to be right back. And I was talking to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we did a lot of the same things that I usually do because she had never done them. You see this? He's like, I'm the only guy here. I'm just going to go. He probably won't be back. <laughs> it's all good. So, what is everyone else up to? <laughs> I'll wait for a minute. Bye, boy. You could go. <laughs> I'm seven hours from Canada. You love all the videos that I posted on the vacation. I have more coming. <laughs> because I, I vlogged the whole time. So, I think that tomorrow I'm going to post a video of the Butterfly Conservatory. I love it there. Um, so many different butterfly species and they're just like fluttering around you and resting on you and it's so cool. So that might be tomorrow's video. Uh, and then I have, I have to put together, I have to edit the, the one from Clifton Hills, like just walking up and like all the different activities that we did. I don't know if you've ever gone to like Clifton Hills. You're supposed to be packing 
stuff out. Wait, did I read that wrong? And getting your floors on. Oh, you're supposed to be packing because you're you're getting your floors on Wednesday. And you have to get everything out and like move it out of the way. <laughs> you'll sing Oh Canada. Oh Canada. I don't know how that song goes. Um Yeah, so Clifton Hills has like a lot of different activities and like just places to see haunted houses and like playing putt putt sorry that was a big typo I kind of understood what you were saying <laughs> our home and native land <laughs> he's still singing oh. and maple I forgot all about maple <gasps> I brought maple biscuits back and I forgot all about them oh my goodness I'm gonna have to go eat them with coffee of course I just I, I, I live in the wrong place that's all <laughs> I love everything that's like not from here <laughs> Hi, um, Mai, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, I won't even, uh, try your, la the last name, Asibar, <laughs> okay, now you're gonna be back, oh, to have a biscuit, <laughs> oh, you're on keto, and <laughs> it sounds delicious, I wanna try keto, but it's, scares me. Did I say your name right? My? Let me know if I did. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, so, and for anyone who doesn't know, biscuits are cookies. <laughs> They're not like doggy biscuits. <laughs> How is the keto going? Do you, do you lose a lot of weight on keto? Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me all about keto. <laughs> You're scared me too after... Wait. It scared me too after a couple of weeks. It was wild how much it changed. That's who I was waiting to come up. I didn't see Nelly come up. <laughs> I'm over here looking and uh I was waiting for for Nelly to pop up so I could change you you're a lover of pasta and bread but honestly you didn't crave it and it was so odd I love pasta um I love bread I live for um, can I have cheese on that you're here <laughs> do you see you're blue now but did you lose a lot yes lots of cheese okay so then I could still be okay if I can have cheese can you have avocado on keto I love avocado and Pinterest has saved your life oh Pinterest is the best when you're on a like any particular diet Pinterest is, is the bomb.com you get so much inspiration from like their pictures that you're like I didn't even know I can eat that with the like with the pasta do you do um like zoodles or do you do like spaghetti squash you lost 30 pounds so far how quickly did you lose that i'm gonna have to like learn are you on instagram do i have you on instagram i need more information i have a lot to lose 
<laughs> but it kind of it's kind of harder um, to just to lose if you have like other other things like it's a combination of things that make me this heavy it's not eating so yeah and I gotta get back on my medication so I can be like regular I'm so bad with like staying on it I have so many questions um, they have those that are made of cheese and other flowers that are really satisfying in less than three months with no working out that's my type of plan like I hate working out I hate cardio I, I um, listen like fat Amy <laughs> says there's that shirt what does it what it says <laughs> horizontal um <laughs> cardio that's that's the one I'm gonna do <laughs> it's right oh thank you I was wondering if if you were gonna answer me back I wish that I was like the type of person that loved to work out. My husband goes to the gym all the time. I don't know that he's losing weight, but he goes. And he's like, oh, you should come with me. And I, I never get inspired to, to go. I just don't want to. I think it I think there's a delay because I don't see anyone saying anything. Did Erica leave? And Blue Ivy. You don't have any oh, okay, you don't have any social medias uh, right now. Should learn and edit. <laughs> You want, um, but you want to, but you need to learn how to edit a, um, your first video. So you haven't posted your video. Hi, um, Beauty with Kimberly Rose. Kimberly, how are you? videos <clears throat> you do have videos but you don't edit them you just love just love but I posting my first video tomorrow it's a hot mess but hey I'm trying oh a live oh those are just lives well what do you film on and what would you be editing on? You heard apple cider vinegar and lemon works. For for weight loss? Or for tea? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Yes. <laughs> the well the apple cider vinegar, if if you can you did say for weight loss. Oh, it's so bad going down. I don't know. I think it's been a half hour since I put these on. Krista, do you think it's been a half hour? Can I take these off? You really like to do challenges. My personal beauty and buy reviews keto and travel cool you're back again well thank you for coming back welcome back after a while it gets better just like talk and vlog oh 
Okay, so when I take these off, they feel, it feels wet now. Like if my under eye was sweating under it. And I gotta read something. Because it said reusable. But I don't know that I would want to reuse this. How do they look? Wait, let me, when I first started, I had the other light on. I feel instantly better. I can look down and I don't have that like dizziness <laughs> for weight loss tea and your body. Um, I need, uh, the thing is that I don't like to drink apple cider vinegar because I hate the way it tastes. Yes, it tastes like crap. See, that's what I mean. It works good if you do it first thing in the morning with warm water. No. ACV. Awesome, Nelly. Okay, you guys are talking to each other. First time is disgusting. After a while, you get used to it. Mm -mm. No, I can't get used to it. Yeah, she was saying that they make them in pills. I gotta read up on these because this is something about... First reusable smoothing instant patch. How is it reusable? I want to know if these are reusable. I gotta read more about this. Because, like, do you clean this off and use it again? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. The eyes look good, but interested in the whole reusable part. Me too! I'm, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Google it. Just add a teaspoon of water. Um, just add a teaspoon in my water and add some flavor and it should be fine. That's what Carlos told me and I didn't like it. <clears throat> So I put the, I'm putting this plastic back on it. I'm going to read to see if these like are reusable. Why would they be reusable? Then, here we go. I hit the, sorry. <laughs> I hit this thing again. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to go into the Google world to find out how exactly is this reusable have you ever heard of a re reusable eye patch I don't know this eye still looks dark to me this one not so much just could be the lighting I don't know you can also put cinnamon apple cider vinegar with lemon um, cinnamon is not one of my favorite things. I actually hate cinnamon. <laughs> You're still not making it any better. Oh, oh, Nelly. <laughs> I'm like rejecting everything you're saying. I'm like, no, I don't want it. You know what also, what I do like, I like chia seeds. I have no clue what the ladies are talking about. They're talking about like, things to help you lose weight or aid you to lose weight so apple cider vinegar um, in water don't drink it straight I think it's bad for your teeth uh, I think it breaks down the enamel in your teeth so I wouldn't just drink it straight down uh, there's also a detox you can do to lose weight <sighs> that sounds like poopy times <laughs> detoxes seem just like if they just want you to get everything out of your colon. <laughs> so they're trying to convince me. My face. You saw my face. I was like, oh, no. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. I, let me get back to, I, I get a, you know, shiny syndrome, shiny object syndrome. You guys start talking to me and I forget what we're, what I was doing. I therapy, therapy patch. I was supposed to Google to see if those things are reusable. Yes, I, you have a video on it. And 
<laughs> Sorry, I just made that face like. <laughs> Cayenne and pink Himalayan salt ginger. And I'm just saying, girls, just get gummies or, <laughs> or pills. Drinks bitters. But it makes you crap everything out. No! <laughs> Me too. I'm like a deer in headlights. <laughs> Hi, Glam Burger. <laughs> You're glad you caught. Thank you for coming in. Okay. So, and just like that, my phone is losing battery. So, let me. It's going to move one more time. Because, of course, I have to stick the charger in. There we go. Oh my goodness, I look crazy. Now, no, I don't want to allow you to see pictures on my device. <laughs> I have all these wires and things moving around. Stop moving. <sighs> well, I'm glad came by and caught me on here. If you're here, give me a like, please. Please, like my video. <laughs> um, oh, yes, down the rabbit hole again. I forgot what I was doing. You always miss everybody's lives. I feel lately I haven't had enough time to devote to everybody and watch everybody's videos, especially since I just came back from vacation. I feel like I'm spread thin, like, ah, like I don't know who I should be going to. Time to Google. <laughs> I should be Googling. <laughs> it says reusable. Let's put re reusable. What's the reusable part? That's that's what gets me. How are they? Re Wait, they're super expensive. What? No, that can't be right. That that can't be right. Where's the actual site? My thumbnail. Wait. My thumb nail is down and still not on. What? My thumbnail's not on? I don't have a thumbnail? Oh, my thumbs up and down is still not on. Oh! Like, I don't let you guys see if I if the thumbs up. Because usually people come and be little haters and come on to people's lives and thumb them down. So, if you're going to thumbs me... Hi, Anne! How are you? If they're going to thumbs me down, I'm, I don't want people seeing that. So, I just leave it blank so I can see it. And I, I can see what's going on. How are you, Anne? I feel so bad about what's going on but um I'm not gonna go into that because I want you to be happy and I know everything is gonna be okay and I am praying for your family oh no one would hate you you would be surprised <laughs> you would be surprised the haters <laughs> I don't feel like I have haters I just have people that I guess when you do a live about face masks, that's where I get the most. People want to know more about the mask and they don't want to hear me talking to other people. But it's a live. So they have issues with that. Like, so they're, they're basically the thumbs down because they want me to explain more about the mask and like go into detail about everything. Which, you can't make everybody happy. Oh, and... I, um, <laughs> you have haters <laughs> all the time. Oh, even on the fire video? See. Why? <sighs> anyway, I know people are just rude in general, but that's wrong. You're very behind in doing lives and videos. Well, I purposely came on live because I'm really close. Like, I need 90 more hours for my um, 4,000 hours. And I said, I'm going live today. I'm going to see what happens. I need that view. <laughs> I need the views. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm purposely on here. Not only Mass Mini Monday, but also, like, to help help my numbers. Because 
I didn't do lives for the last two weeks. And because of that, I... Like, I could have already been there, but I sold down on lives. And that is just crazy. Somehow, um, you could post for the thumbnail. Wait. Someone said how you could post for a thumbnail for a video that I did for views. That you're posting that for views? Am I reading this right? Someone said how I post for a thumbnail for that video that I did in four views. You don't need to post anything for views. You already have viewership. You're sharing what's going on in your life because it's how you already do your channel. People are rude. You post, oh, the pose, like, they said that you were posing because you were, like, because you're sad, because, like, like, they're trying to say that you're fake crying. Come on. That was, like, your mom, your grandma, they're already older. Your grandma has COPD, right? Or is that your mom? Um... I wouldn't even, like, of course you're crying. Of course you're sad. Like, it was your son's room. Come on. They're stupid. <sighs> Hi, Courtney. Uh, that just made me furious. Sorry. I just got upset for you. Because they're rude. <clears throat> and obviously, they've never had a fire. So, they don't know what it feels like to lose everything. Or to lose valuables. Like, there's certain things you can replace, and there's other things you can never replace. There are memories that are just going to be thoughts in your head forever, but you're never going to see that again. So, people are very insensitive, and, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, oh, I'm doing better. I just got really, like, angry. <laughs> mm -mm. That is crazy. Look, they got me... I'm even, I'm even crying. Like, are you kidding me? Um, mm -mm. Well, you know. She made me think about, like, um, like, uh, so, and just to tell you, when we had a fire, like, the year that me and Carlos got married, we had a fire in our house, and... Um, the only thing that hurt was that I had lost my wedding album in the fire. And you were upset because they questioned your integrity. I would be too. And we know you. We know, like, the ones, people who have been here with you from, like, the beginning, we know you. And we know, like, you wouldn't, like, post selfishly. Like, you just, your channel is your life. It's you, your family, you show vulnerable parts of yourself. So if something's happening, it's not for sympathy. It's like, hey, I don't want you guys to be worried, like, if I'm not on, but this is what's going on in my life. So. I got all sentimental. <laughs> ah, I get, I, there's certain things that tick me. Exactly, Anne. That's amazing. We love you, Mama Anne. Oh, Yeah, we do. That that sucks. But people, people are going to say whatever they want to say regardless. Mm -mm. <sighs> but I'm, I'm like, I can't even think straight. Like, I can't even, because I get angry. <laughs> So how how are how is your family now? Like, um, is your your mom's out of the hospital already? And 
I got quiet because like I'm reading this. You gotta run. Okay, bye. Bye, Jim Bean. I'll see you around the next time. Maybe Carlos will be here the next time. They're staying with you. Okay. And did they have insurance um, on the house? Good. They will be happy to be there. Yeah. I, like, I was just thinking, like, that's where you used to get things sent to, right? Like, all your mail. That sucks. But, like, when the houses are so old, you just never know what's going to happen. It could have been, like, it could have been anything that set it off. Yeah, I met. You met with the adjuster at 11.30 a.m. Yeah. Man, and they, and, and claim everything. Every last thing that you could think of. Yeah. We had, um, we didn't lose everything. Um, we lost everything that was porous, obviously. And, um, like, my photo album, my, um, my wedding album. And the basement and the kitchen were all had to be redone. It happened in the basement. So, um, it was from basement up. And they broke all my windows. I needed new windows. Um, I needed everything new, like, new bed. The, um... The smoke had even got into the TVs, and they didn't even work. So I can just imagine, like, you lose so much. You wouldn't even believe what gets messed up in a fire with just the smoke. <sighs> claim. <laughs> claim what you can for sure. Everything. Everything. Just claim everything. Yes, go through everything that they would try to steal stuff. Mm-hmm. That fire didn't get the walk get the water damage got what wait a minute what sorry I can't read that fire didn't get the water damage got yeah yep that's the other thing I feel in my life that um <laughs> I always say I've gone through the fire and I've gone through the flood because a few years back we had um a, something like a, a pipe not a pipe. The toilet overflowed, but there was nothing like, I guess it was running and water started coming up overnight and we didn't know. And it went from, from the top floor all the way to the second, um, to the second floor down to the basement. Like the water traveled through three levels. And, um, when I went downstairs, I was like, why is this carpet? Like my, my carpet was wet. And then I look up and there's this big bubble on the ceiling and I, I just touched it and all of a sudden it burst and all this water shot down. I had to get my house redone for that too. You watch your grandparents um, house burn down when you were six and it was traumatic. Wow. That's crazy. That's your home too. You lost 90% of everything. And had to rebuild. Thankfully we were out of town. And it was in the middle of the night. Wow. That Those are all awful experiences. So. So yeah. What, what the fire. <laughs> the fire just taught me that. Most things are replaceable. Just memories. Just. You're just going to have to have other things in your memory. Um, hi, Co Kokuni? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Or Diva, <laughs> can I call you that? The smell of burning gets, oh yes. Every time, so I call it hickory. <laughs> Every time I, or mesquite. <laughs> Um, the smell of a fire, you instantly know, you're like, there's a fire. Because, like, the smell of, of mesquite, <laughs> kind of like, you always will remember that smell. Courtney, me too. Crazy. Yeah, we all have experienced that. <laughs> um, my shoes, 
and my all my clothes smell like I call it mesquite. I know I laugh about it now because it that was that was like uh almost 13 years ago. And and I cried so bad because even my clothes got ruined. Thank you for being so kind. No problem. And why wouldn't we be like a campfire? It does. You can't. It's, tra it's a traumatic experience. And it's a traumatic. Like every time you smell that. You like it. You instantly think about it. It's certain smell. When it's in a house fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Yes. But anything burn smell smells is worse. I'm good. How are you? <clears throat> and yes, the insurance company did your oh, they did them wrong. No, my insurance company, I had Allstate and they were amazing. Like I was able to get like the more the important things. I got everything back um I mean and they even paid for me to stay um in a I stayed in a like it's like a suite like a hotel suite that had like a kitchen and I stood there I had a cat um so my cat came with us and uh she actually survived the fire that was the scariest part when I got there because I had gone to work and it happened like I had gone to work and then like 30 minutes later I was getting these calls for the house and when I got there it was too well obviously it's too late fire happened so fast and we were all here for you always uh, um so um, when I got there I was like where's my cat and they're like we didn't see any cat and because they had busted the windows I was like she got out and they didn't see her and I was mostly concerned about my cat and um, then I had gone upstairs because I had to get a few things before they boarded the house up and um when i went upstairs i like i noticed that the shower curtain had fallen down so i moved it and my cat was inside the tub but under the shower curtain so i guess she found the coolest spot in the house and stood there so she was alive but she was definitely like what is going on they painted over burnt walls and they were and there was wood paneling and everything was oh no hi jazz um jazz up my style did you hear about the hurricane coming there's a hurricane coming too oh no and cats are so smart cat yeah she she was super smart they're like we didn't even know that she was there like now they give you this sticker well not now but they they always had them if you have pets in your house you put the sticker outside like so that they can know to look for pets um in case of a fire so that way you're not um that way like they know i think they were looking for people but yeah and nobody really knew i had a cat because cats don't go outside <sighs> yeah she was okay yeah so that just brought me to there. It might be a category four when it hits. It's Wednesday or Thursday. I didn't even know. Did I hear the news today? I did not. I got on here and I just didn't even think about like the news. Uh oh. Is my. I think it's not charging. I didn't even know that there's going to be a hurricane. Mm. Yes. North Carolina, right?
Yeah. I'm sure Anne has her whole, like, she has horror stories with this, with what's going on. Yep, Krista, if it turns, it will hit us in New Jersey. Hmm. And if it hits New Jersey, that means it's very close to us. You just moved from Harley and here in Houston. I like which was which was so so much fun. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to charge this on the ground. Why is my device playing me? <laughs> Sarcasm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying like it's so much more fun over here. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm. I need to charge my phone. But I don't see it lighting up. I feel like there's no charge happening. Hi. Hi, Jess. It's not doing anything. Give me one second. Nope. Why is that not charging? <clears throat> sorry guys I know I'm like not paying attention but for some reason my charger is not charging anywhere it is doing weird stuff I think I'm going to be dying soon. The uh, My phone, not me. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, Anne. See you. I don't know what is going on. Why is it not charging? It's... Oh, it is. It's... Okay, now it is. Sorry, I keep like putting my hand in the way, but yeah, that's that's really sad though. Like the whole fire situation hurts my heart. Did I freeze? I don't know if I froze. And me and Krista were supposed to figure out if those darn patches are reusable. Bye girl, my prayers are with you and your family. No, frozen? It's not frozen? It was, um... It looked like it was frozen to me for a minute. Okay. So let me go back onto this Google thing. And try to find these eye patches that I originally said I was going to find out about. And never did. Because I can't focus. Are they... So many pop-ups. <laughs> she said yes, Google. Let fell out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't focus on one thing. What I don't understand, if they are reusable, why would they send you two? 
because then you can use them as many times as you want or are they gonna go bad after a while so and like they sell them in packs of six so if they come in packs of six I don't know I have no idea and I can't find any how to use no I don't want to know how to use it I know how to use this Confucius says I'm lost with you you're as lost as I am <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> XOXO hugs and uh, kisses and hugs <laughs> I had tried because there's a lot of new people that just came in I just tried these uh, Talika eye patches and they say clearly on here first reusable smoothing instant patch reusable right so I used them already I put the plastic back on because I'm like are they really reusable and how many uses can you get there's no instructions. Maybe that little box has instructions. And I feel like I'm just not... Okay. Let's see. Each patch is infused with hydrating serum which helps to improve overall appearance of the eye area. These patches are safe to use every day as an intense eye treatment or quick pick-me-up. Apply the patch under the eye area and leave for 30 minutes. Remove the patch and store in foil for reuse. It says you can reuse it, okay? Each patch may be used up to three times before disposing. Got it. Got it. Okay. I didn't need to go through Google. <laughs> I could have just read the packaging. <laughs> oh, Krista, I feel so stupid right now. Because <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? It's reusable. How many <laughs> mystery solved? <laughs> By common sense. <laughs> it is. It's like the whole time I'm like, where is it? I need to know. I can't find it. It's right there, silly. It was there the whole time. Just read it. Okay, so I'm going to give that a try. I feel kind of weird about reusing them, but my face is clean. And I did a mask before it, so... It's not like my face got dirty in the process, so I guess I could reuse them. I put them back in the foil packet, like it says, and I will use them two more times. <laughs> I feel so silly because I'm like, where is it? I need to know. Oh, that is my life. <laughs> I think that's the best thing that ever happened right now, the fact that I was looking, Googling something that was right in front of my face the whole time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm glad that I can make myself laugh with that. Okay, so now it makes sense that you would get to, that's actually really good, like, I don't know about good that it's reusable, part of me wants to clean it, just like clean the surface before I use them again but I like the idea that you can reuse them because then if you do spend a large amount on them you're you're getting multiple uses use a hairpin to keep it closed ah Courtney's genius idea <laughs> oh I have the perfect one too so Ricky's has sent me these and of course I don't wear barrettes because when, when do I have time to use barrettes? So I could use one of these flat barrettes to keep it closed and fresh. And Courtney's idea is genius. Where is she? Is she still here? Or did people abandon me when I didn't have any common sense? Look at that. 
<laughs> we can all sleep soundly tonight now that we know the answer to those. <laughs> and the clips are cute. The clips are super cute. I just, you know what, maybe if I let down my hair. And, oh, right now, it's, is there huge knots in here? Because <laughs> I haven't, like, combed my hair. Um, I brushed my hair, but I didn't comb it in a, in, in a day. Or two. Or three. <laughs> Let's be serious. <laughs> and, um, maybe if I had, like, my hair. Oh, Lord Jesus. Look at this bed head. If I had it down in a really nice style and then I had a reason to like put clips in my hair. I don't know. Maybe in a nice style. With my hair down. I don't know. Haven't figured that out. <laughs> you said it's okay, people always abandon me when I sing. <laughs> oh. You can even just slide one of the clips right next to your bun for decoration. But that's only if like my bun was up. Such pretty long hair. What? No. Ah, like it's not pretty right now. Look at it look they look like dreadlocks. <laughs> I haven't combed my hair. So, you know, I've been brushing it right here and then putting it up in a bun. So all of this down here that <laughs> really needs to like comb my hair. Tonight I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna wash my hair, and it looks like it looks so ratty. What are you talking about? Oh Lord! It needs a good washing, and you know conditioning, and then I could judge it, and it'll be good. <laughs> you won't be able to see it, but other people would. That's true. And I guess the barrettes aren't for me. <laughs> You'll be jamming. <laughs> oh, I'm jamming. <laughs> oh, yeah. I call I call my um my knots like um they're my Pirates of the Caribbean uh dreads. <laughs> oh, I look like I've been like in the sea and I haven't combed my hair in like three months. Because I've been shipwrecked. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh. <sighs> and right now, like this right here is so dirty and like oily. It's it's unreal. <laughs> I'm just gonna like brush it back. I'm not going to do like a great job of brushing it because obviously I'm going to wash it tonight and after I'm done here, that's what I'm going to do. So, it doesn't even matter. But look, you see exactly what I did right now? That's what I did this morning. <laughs> Knot it up, make it the smallest bun here. <laughs> I have so much hair and it always looks like I have no hair. Did you girls know that I had that much hair in here? Well, probably. If you've seen my videos, then you know that I have a lot of hair. I usually, I do let it down for the videos. <clears throat> you wish your hair was that thick. You have horribly thin hair. It sucks. Your ponytail is like the whiff of a straw. Oh, well... Um, don't be too envious <laughs> because I had a lot more hair where this came from and my mom used to have a lot of hair and now she had, her ponytail is like this small. Like her whole ponytail, like the width of it fits in that little diamond area. 
So the older I get, the less hair I'm going to have. So um, my ponytail now, it used to be like this thick and it's not like that. So it'll eventually get thin. And, um, but I understand like not having, not having a lot of hair. It looks much more because it's super long. It, I do have a lot of hair. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying I don't have a lot of hair. I do. <laughs> oh, I'm totally going to be bald old lady. Oh no. Maybe you should get a head tattoo or something crazy. <laughs> Just, no. Yes, never bleach. Totally ruin your hair. I used to bleach a lot before. I was blonde for a whole season. Uh, like about, not a season, for like a couple of years. <laughs> Maybe that made it thinner. Um, do you take anything for it? Hi, Summer. How are you, doll? Um, do you uh, take anything for it? Uh, for thinning hair? You're here listening and eating dinner? Yes, you're t <laughs> totally complaining. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> good thing. I'm good. I'm good. I feel like this live has been an emotional roller coaster. I don't know. <laughs> um, you have thyroid issues. Okay. Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so that makes your hair thin. And even if you take biotin, it probably wouldn't even make a difference. Um, and then if your mother and had a baby, after you have your baby, your hair thins. I'm, I'm not ready for thinning hair. But if anything happens, I can always just shave it off and put on a wig they make fabulous wigs so there's always that <laughs> or um I feel like I want to get <laughs> they do right <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to get my mom that powder that you put in the hair have you seen that info infomercial what infomercial I can't get the word out where they like put that powder thing on the hair and then they like um, vacuum it and it just goes away. <laughs> Killer cheekbones. Yeah, she has some really high cheekbones. <laughs> I have high cheekbones too. But I think Summer has higher cheekbones than me. <clears throat> it's yep it definitely is your Indian blood <laughs> totally what oh yeah I had a total receding hairline after your third son oh and you terrified it wouldn't grow back but thankfully it did <gasps> that's what scares me I know so many women who have their children and then instantly lose tons and tons of hair and I'm thinking is it because like when you're on prenatals your hair you're on those vitamins that really like have um folic acid and iron and all those things that kind of like make your hair grow and then after you have your child you're off of them so like it's like your brain switches off and it's like okay no more growing hair you could shed this what the heck happens I don't know. I feel like I know so many women that have gone through that where their hair just falls on down and you're like, like what happened to you? I just started talking to myself. I don't know who's out there listening. <laughs> I think it's a drop in the hormones too. Oh yeah, that too. So it's like... It's your brain. It's basically your brain saying, okay, you don't have to do this anymore. You don't need to supply enough for two people. So we're going to make it, like, try to 
stabilize you and then you're like your whole body freaks out I don't know but then eventually it goes back to normal mm, I don't know I don't know <laughs> pregnancy seems like a hard thing I, I wouldn't know I haven't been through it yet I mean I haven't had a child yet <laughs> so I already have like my hormones are already crazy your body is like oh you have a baby <laughs> you don't have time to do your hair anymore <laughs> so we're just gonna, <laughs> gonna go ahead and let a bunch of a bunch of it fall off no way no way <laughs> you totally want to do one of those ancestry gene tests oh my goodness we were just talking about that but the baby thing started well too young so your hair was good but you got a um damn belly hair trail because of the kids what you grew it so okay wait your hair grew like on your belly <laughs> instead of on your head <laughs> ay 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 um or you just grew more hair down there or you know you never saw it before I don't know I don't know I'm just coming to conclusions because I think I have hair on my belly already but not like a lot of it um <laughs> we were just talking about the ancestry thing so I have Amazon Prime and I believe they were saying that you can get a discount on the Anstra and ancestry uh, kit and uh, my friend just recently did her DNA and um, she found out that she's like 70% Nigerian and a whole bunch of other things like Indian and like just diff just different places that she didn't know. I don't know if it's because she doesn't know one of her parents or she, I don't know. I don't know the whole details about it but it intrigued me and we were talking about this and because so we know my mom's mom is Romanian, but we don't know 100% what exactly she is. And her dad is a mystery because he was never around. Um, and she was, she was given to a family, so like she was adopted by this family and was raised by them in Puerto Rico. Um, so my mom identifies as Puerto Rican because she grew up in Puerto Rico. And um, so me, I know that I'm Puerto Rican through my dad, but I want to know how much and what I actually am. Because there's certain things that I like that just don't make sense as like, as a Puerto Rican. I don't know if that makes sense. Like the things that I like to eat are not typically what my people love to eat. <sighs> <clears throat> below the belly button no, okay <laughs> oh okay I gotcha <laughs> uh, so so now I want to do this ancestry thing because I want to know like what am I has anybody else did it anyway imagine if it says like something berserk that I wouldn't even think about I told Carlos it would be cool for him to we should totally do ancestry tag. Oh yeah, like but we would have to get that kit. That kit is expensive, is it? Let me see. Am I googling again, Krista? <laughs> you want to do it? I think it's on sale through Amazon Prime because I need to see how much it is. Ancestry DNA. Yes, Google it, woman. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, you have to go now? You have to go. Thank you for coming in, Glamburger. Um, okay. Official Ancestry DNA. Is that the one? Or do they just claim to be <laughs> AncestryDNA.com? Hey, Jazzy! Or Jazz. Jazz Journey. I just called you Jazzy. Like if I know you like that girl. Hey girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm all laughing. 
what is wrong with me and just like that I forgot what I was doing yes people call you jazzy too <laughs> So it says get $25 off of your first order. There's a coupon on their website. And it's only the lovely price of $99 um, on this website. Now, let me go to Amazon and see what Amazon has it for. Amazon. <laughs> Hi, Glowgetta. I'm good. How are you? I can never do one thing at a time. Like, I, I mean, I'm trying to do one thing at a time, but I feel like I'm doing 10 things and I can't devote my attention to all of them. <sighs> Shiny object, huh? <laughs> That's me. And that's three. DNA kit. Okay. Computer work for me. You see how quickly I'm no longer dizzy? <laughs> Alright, so... Where's the sale? That ain't no sale. I gotta find out where it says that there's a sale. Sponsored by Helix. I'm not seeing a sale. They still say $99 over here. Let me check this. The only thing is that you get it sooner. $99. Suspensive. Or maybe it was just one day deal and I just missed it. Who knows? Mm -mm. Anyway, I do want to do one. Who else would want to do it with me? You watch so many crime shows, <laughs> you know, um, they keep your, they do keep our DNA so they can make sure that I haven't committed a crime, any murders or anything before I sign up. What? Oh, uh, shucks. <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. I've never committed a murder and I don't intend to either. Um... I'm good, right? <laughs> she should... What? Funny, you wonder which collection is bigger. Perfume or Urban Decay Ballads? <laughs> My perfume. And you know, I have a new video that I might be posting. I got six more perfumes. <laughs> I can't help myself. I will if you will. Busted. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm missing what you guys are saying. Let me go back. Give me one second. Jazzy set. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. Oh, I noticed how many perfumes. I. You notice how many I have? Okay. That's what I missed. <laughs> I can't open up a store they're used. Oh, busted on the murder admission. <laughs> no, I've never murdered any. Well, I've killed flies, bugs, spiders. <laughs> I'm going straight to jail for killing insects. <laughs> Me too. I love perfumes. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what's your favorite perfume? Just say gently used. Really? <laughs> Can I really say gently? I have gently used perfumes. <laughs> Which one is my favorite pick? Uh, well, my all-time favorite, I've said this a bunch of times, is the... Where is it? Which I have two of. Is the Eternity Purple Orchid. Oh, that was Red Door Revealed, yeah. This is my all-time favorite, right here. Um, this one, I can't get it to spray. It's broken. And there's juice in there. And then this one, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Oh, 
Eternity was your favorite forever. But the purple orchid. Did you did you smell this one? This one this one is so good. It's so good. Why is it so good? I wish and then you never seen this one. It's because this is like um discontinued. Uh it's been discontinued for a while. But every so often you'll find it. No, but now I must. Um, every so often you'll find it at like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls but I think they're just like eliminating the ones that they had from that time and I'm sad because th this right here is the last bit of it I can't I need to get into this bottle does anybody know how to get into bottles or how to fix um, sprayers You bet it smells awesome. It's, it does. Um, So, it has orchid in it. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can find the notes. Here we go, Google. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Google. Even though I, men <laughs> I mentioned it too many times. Yes, a hammer or a pickaxe. No! Then I'm going to, like, lose my perfume. Um, Come on, what's going on? So, I need to find out. If, if I find out where I can get the Ancestry thing for cheaper, I'm going to let you girls know. Um, but, let me see if I can find the notes to this perfume. Notes to Eternity. Purple Orchid. Um. Okay, so its main accords are floral, flute, fruity, not fluty, <laughs> fluty, <laughs> floral, fruity, sweet, green, almond, and powdery. Those are like what you, like, what, uh, it, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but the notes, um, are, what are the notes? Tell me. All right, so... Pascal, Guerin, and all those are people's names. Okay. The notes are green notes, water lily. Middle notes are plum, freesia, white peach, uh, hilothrope. I don't know what that is. And it says orchid. Base notes are woodsy notes, almond, and musk. So good. So good. Um... So that, that's what it is. Oh wait, you guys are saying stuff. So. Um, you're getting a boxy lux. Oh, okay. Am I getting a boxy lux? Um, I won't be getting it this month. <clears throat> but I will in December. <laughs> um, you really like black opium. The sec the sexy girl. Black opium. What do I? No, that's not opium. I don't have that one. Is that one black opium? Is that one like kind of oval? Like an oval bottle? Or is it in a square bottle but it has like an oval opening? I can't remember. Sorry, good girl. Oh, this one. Good girl? This, this, this is bomb. Hmm. This this is so good. This is like awesomeness in a bottle. I've only used a little bit of it because I don't want to use it all up. The sparkly black and touch of coffee scent. Mm, I don't know about the coffee scent. I'm not a coffee scented stuff person. Yes, the what E Saint Laurent Laurent. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Opium, opium, but yes, that one. You're editing your Buxy Lux video right now. <gasps> you got it already? <laughs> was it worth it? Tell me, was it worth it? Because I don't know that it is. <laughs> she got her box already. I need to figure out how to open this. 
<laughs> she said, are you happy with it? Yes, tell us. We need to know. Are you happy with it? I mean, we're still going to watch her video. Well, I'm still going to watch her video, even if you tell me. Because I'm nosy and I don't know what all comes in it. She said, yes, girl, I love it. <sighs> I didn't get there on time. Can't wait for you <laughs> to... For me to get mine. I won't get it till December. I'm not going to get one in, in this month. Boo. Boo. <clears throat> oh, and then second perfume, second favorite is the Very Irresistible by Givenchy. This one right here. She said, yes, she's excited. Yes, black opium. Doesn't smell like coffee notes, but it perfume smells different on everyone because of the body chemistry. You had this one too? Sorry, girl. <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, like, I still smell the purple orchid. Oh, goodness, it's so good. Why is it so good? So then, the only perfume that's somewhat similar to this, somewhat, not exactly the same, you're giving away the Park Avenue Princess. Yeah, I saw that in your video, you mentioned that. I wasn't like too excited for that palette, because isn't that like a face palette, like with, with um, bronzers and highlighters and blush or something? I can't remember which one is that one. And I don't really use a lot of face palettes. To be honest, because I never contour. I got a natural contour. You see that you see that uh five o'clock shadow right here? <laughs> that makes me contoured. <laughs> you see better come tomorrow. Unfortunately, that's the only one you get. Why unfortunately? So going to post it on the video for a giveaway. Yeah, I saw that you you said that. You need to be, wait, I need to see you back on my box. Oh, oh okay. Wait, I need you to cut back on, you need to cut back on boxes. I couldn't comprehend what I was reading. <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily, I did cut back on, well, I'm going to, be cut back by one anyway because Ricky's Cold Crush decided to you know uh, just cancel itself and uh, oh it's a contour palette yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel about Target isn't that tart that's tart well I should get at least two <laughs> Well, do you get boxy? You don't get boxy. You only get Ipsy. You heard that too. What do you think is the best besides Ipsy? Boxy charm. <laughs> it's a little pricey, but it's totally worth it. Boxy is the best, like, yeah. Because you get full size items, you usually get five sometimes six I've never gotten four and they're they're high-end brands it's pro like it's a mixture of stuff like it's it's basically to build your collection if you don't have a lot of cosmetics so it's like the perfect way to try things without spending full price that's the only reason why I always get it because there are certain times where I'm like I really didn't need this item but I could see if, like, I didn't have anything. And when I first started with Boxy years ago, like, it's what built my collection of eyeshadows. I got a lot of them through Boxy. But I think they charge shipping. Wait, what do you mean? Who charges shipping? It's 21 It's only $21. So far, you noticed Yes Oh Yes is pretty good. I don't know about Yes Oh Yes. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times, but I, I don't know, like, if I would like it. Okay, you told me, yes, it is tart. 
Is anyone signing up for Ipsy Super? Yeah, I want to get that, um, the big uh, Ipsy when it comes out. I want to get the full size one. Definitely. <clears throat> yes. Um, yes, oh yes, contracted me on IG getting, um, trying to get me to be an ambassador and buy their crap. <laughs> I was like, um, no, thank you. And they acted like they didn't understand English. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I know some... Anyway, let me not. Let me not go there. <laughs> I know people that really like it. And I'm like, what? What now? <laughs> But, um, I think it's kind of easy to become an ambassador for them, especially if you're buying your own stuff. <clears throat> we went back and forth ten times of me telling them that I wasn't buying anything and them telling me I don't have to buy it. <laughs> then giving me a link to buy. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I, I'm not like, and with Ipsy, I'm part of their, they have, you could sign up to, not to be an ambassador, but like if you're a creator, you can, you can sign up as a creator. And when I did that, they sent me a few products to try out. Um, I don't know if that was the reason why they sent me the stuff to try out but um i signed up a while back you reacted you reactivated your ipsy because of that damn plus box <laughs> i only buy when i see spoilers and it's worth it to me the which one but i know that they well There's a lot of things. I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff when I go to Gem Beauty. And I'm wondering if they're going to like talk about the big box before then. Because that's in October, which is just next month. And I don't know when this new Ipsy big box is coming out. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it's like Ipsy Premium. <laughs> um, so... I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they'll, there are some good things. Just don't like them trying to get me to buy their stuff. And is it like their stuff or is it like brand name stuff? What stuff are they trying to, what kind of stuff are they trying to get you to buy? I didn't know that. Oh, you have to go buy um, Jazz. Bye, bye, Jazzy. <laughs> I just made myself very, very friendly with her. Like, bye, Jazzy. You wish you could stay longer. Glad to see. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. No matter what amount of time you stayed in here, it's all good. <sighs> Take care. Let me put these pins back away. So now that I'm not getting Ricky's anymore, and people ripped and like really ripped into. Ricky so hard like they were just hating haters that hated <laughs> because um they, those boxes weren't that bad I've gotten worse things in Allure than I got in than than I've gotten in Ricky's I hope I didn't offend anyone about the yes oh yes I have tons of friends that love it <laughs> bye girl <laughs> I don't um I don't know them. They've never approached me anyway, so Hi Jesse, how are you? She's like hugs. <laughs> You're so late. You are so late. And I am like hanging on by a thread. I know it because my phone was saying that I was on 10% like 
a few minutes ago. So I really hope I don't die. That really s set you off. <laughs> I'm not sure over there. Wait, wait, wait. It, you guys are going so fast. Now I couldn't keep up for a second. You're not sure if they're, if they're box, but they told me I couldn't. I could use their pictures to promote it without buying it. Oh, you're sick with strep throat and your wife and kids have it too. No, you need some of Carlos's tea. He makes, he has a concoction that he gives me whenever I get sick. <clears throat> okay, typically you get full eyeshadow palettes with boxy charm. Yes, full eyeshadow palettes, Um, everything is full size. So if you get a highlighter, it's going to be a full size highlighter. If you get a... I don't know, a lipstick is going to be a full size lipstick, a mascara is going to be a full size mascara, and they're always high end brands. They're never like cheap, um, well, not saying other things are cheap, but they're usually high end brands. Nothing that is drugstore. <clears throat> I'm a leave streaming girl, but I have to mute or at, oh, no worries, go do you, go do what you gotta do. I actually have to go and get a plug because my charger is not charging and the little port thing is not charging either. Oh, Summer, before you leave, you missed me. I wore my ears. I felt like I looked like Louise from um, Bob's Burgers. I don't know if she saw that or not. <laughs> Hugs to you too. <laughs> I forgot to tell her that. And I did in the mask that I did. You guys all missed it. Well, Krista didn't. It was a lace one. <laughs> she said, oh, you love Bob's Burgers. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's the one I did. I think she left before I, I could tell her. <clears throat> Buy killer cheeks. So pretty. <laughs> I love that you're like killer cheeks. Um, do you guys mind if I run real quick to go get one of those little boxes to charge? Please tell me I can. <laughs> I'm gonna go get it, okay? Be right back. <clears throat> okay <laughs> go don't die on us <laughs> I'm back I'm back <laughs> is that working let me see if it's working. Oh, come on. OMG, I'm so glad I did get it when I got it. Because, um, I'm on 4%. I was about to really go out. <laughs> How are you, Jesse? I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages. <laughs> That was it was in the bathroom that's why <laughs> we have chargers in the bathroom because we can't go anywhere without our phones so you're sitting in the bathroom gotta charge <laughs> <clears throat> I'm okay eating Hall's ice cream trying to upload oh well, I hope um, I hope you get better. So usually Carlos makes me tea with apple cider vinegar, lemon, and honey in it, and it works so well. Are you on antibiotics? I didn't even have a proper chance to have a conversation with Jesse. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. We're just 
settling in. Oh, I know. I I know you had like a lot going on family wise. Um. You you had. There was a death in the family. Was only one or was it two? I can't remember. I feel like I should know this stuff. Yeah. Um. Oh, we miss you too. Penicillin. Yeah. She probably needs. Well, if it's strep throat, don't they give you something else besides penicillin? To your mom and your mother-in-law. Okay, yeah. I thought it was, but I didn't want to, like, just assume and then, like... <sighs> yeah. You had two in the last three months. I had two back in June. Yeah. So I understand. But, I mean... Your yours was your your mom, and so that's that's even harder. Your birthday was the sixth, and your mom. Oh, happy belated birthday! My birthday was the first, so happy belated birthday. Um, it was on, it was on the sixth as well. Aww. You got aug augmented and throat, s throat spray and Tylenol. You said happy birthday on IG. Yeah, you did. I was, you know, earlier this month, I was saying, besides Amy, there was someone else that was, that was having a birthday this month. And I was like, whose birthday is it this month? And then I was like, then I know Dustin's birthday was this month too. But I was like, there was someone else, and I couldn't remember, and I didn't remember that it was you. Oh, four six. Yeah, that was before. That was before I had all of the craziness with mine. Yes, my mama. Always on IG. <laughs> I know you're. I know you were. But I saw that you got to go to like to, to the beach, and you, you did a few things. If anybody wants to chat, you're always on IG. I need to get better with chatting with people. I'm not good at, like, messaging. I'm so bad at it. <clears throat> so... I know, but it's okay. I bother y'all anyway. <laughs> mm. And I barely... I don't have... I don't really go on to IG like everybody else and double tap and comment. I almost never comment. And I see a whole bunch of stuff. Then maybe I'm like a lurker. Am I a lurker that just has one? need to get better with that your mom has been disabled since you were 11 you're happy you still have her even though oh um, what does she have I'm sorry I'm all nosy you can't hear her sweet voice that's sad <laughs> What did she say? We can chat about Jeffree Star. The Frost highlighter, the highlighter he just released. Oh, I own nothing, Jeffree Star. <laughs> I don't know what his stuff performs like. I've never tried it. I've never swatched it. I've... I only see it on other people's. Oh. Yeah. Do you take care of her? I'm so nosy. If I'm being too too questiony, just, just tell me. Um. <laughs> yeah.
you you hate it hated that man but watch his doc on youtube and you like him a bit more now i don't know if it's like i don't hate him i don't know anything about him um i don't know anything about him i've seen a couple videos where he was talking about when he was younger and how he used to do his makeup when he was younger um and i don't really know like the I've heard that there were like racial remarks and things with him. Um, I don't, I just don't like, kind of he doesn't really interest me. Is that weird? I, it's not that I hate him. I just don't really care for him. But I feel like that about Manny as well. Like he just does not interest me. Like what they do or how they do their makeup. However, Patrick Starr, um, there's certain things, I'm obsessed with how he does, like, full coverage. <laughs> okay, that liquid velour lipstick, I'm not a fan, of, a fan of, of the lip scrub. It's just too much work to take off. Oh, I've never tried, I never tried anything of, the, of his, just like the color of their palettes. <laughs> Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about his palettes and lipsticks. I just don't own any. I don't know. I think a lot of it like was like people's features or like how they look really attracts me to the person or to watch them. Like when I watch people there's something that I'm like, oh my goodness, like, there's something about that person that makes me, like, want to see them. And he just doesn't have that for me. Like, I find that his face is too skinny, he's so bony, and yeah, his makeup does look great, but it doesn't look, like, it doesn't look like me. Like, I couldn't, like, I can't go to him and say, oh, I can do a... I can look at your tutorial and learn how to do my makeup off of you because his facial features are so different that I kind of tend to like people who kind of look like me. Not look like me because nobody really looks like me, but like kind of resemble like, I love Nikki tutorials. I like Patrick Starr. Like there's certain people that I really like because of the way, like I could see myself doing a look like them. Because I can see, maybe I don't have the same bone structure, but I could see how they do it and I can kind of mimic it. You said you understand. But anyway, I just kept on babbling. <laughs> and then the other people that I watch are like my, my friends because I know, like even though we don't look similar, I like to support them regardless. <clears throat> but like bigger YouTubers, I... That's why I don't like, well not that I don't like, but I don't watch Tati. I don't watch, there's a lot of people I don't watch because they just, I find nothing in common with them. Laura Lee, I didn't like her voice. And there was like, she just didn't seem like me either. I'm not sure about Jeffrey, but his blood sugar palette is awesome. That's the all red one, right? Right? red and pink oh you got a free grays I just I just got the message <laughs> I just got a notification <laughs> do I have to back up I see that my face is doing weird stuff You just uploaded it. <laughs> I know. I just got the notification. Dang. Your notification work quick, girl. <laughs> You'll let us know if you like your gray stuff. I, um, I didn't understand how quickly you get boxes. So I had to, like, pause it. Because it was just so much. We should do a makeup collab, but something easy, okay? <laughs> like what? 
let me know. Um, so I know for sure I'm going to be doing a villain. A, you know how I did superhero collab? I'm going to do a villain one. Um, and I think that one's going to be open to a lot more people. So, you want to know about what happened to my mom. Oh, it's kind of depressing. I want to know what she has. Because I'm nosy. But if you don't want to share, you don't have to. If you want in on these collabs. <laughs> Baby steps, okay? Baby steps. <laughs> um, so then you tell me. You tell me what you like to collab on. Well, what do you like? Vlogs? And you do, like, food? Cooking. I, I, I don't really like cooking on on camera. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, I don't grow any plants. I do shopping hauls. But that's not really a collab I don't know let me know what you do you tell me <laughs> oh so if you want in Krista on the collabs absolutely when next time I do a big one I'm gonna just do a video and anybody who wants to join I guess they can comment that way I can because I felt like there were a lot of people who wanted to participate in the superhero one and at first, I didn't open it because I didn't think too many people would want to do it. Because I had mentioned it a while back and I didn't get any response. So then after I did it, I had people that said, Oh, I, I could have done it. I, I wanted, I would have loved to be like, thought of like, hey, join this collab. And then I was like, ouch, I'm sorry. <laughs> No makeup is good. Need <laughs> makeup is good. Need to practice. <clears throat> okay, well, you call dibs on this villain thing. Yay! Well, that one's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be like everybody joining in, like just like the superhero one. Okay, she got a a virus, mostly like from a mosquito, when it led to what is that? And cephalitis which oh where the brain wells and she had a stroke on her left side of her brain so everything on the right side uh, weak and she lost her voice oh that's crazy I sorry I just got like I go into my head and I envision like a mosquito biting you and then all of a sudden your brain swells and then like it causes all type I just had a visual that's that's just how my brain works that's crazy oh and it could happen to anybody I'm speechless I, I, I don't know what to say. That I, wow. Was it here in the States? Are you in the States? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't entirely know your whole story. I'm like just quiet over here oh I'm sorry I should fill the silence by talking yes before that many years she had so, uh, so much sadness in the person who was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder but now though Oh, but she has joy. Oh, yeah, you did say Texas. Oh, I should remember these things. You saw a pack of cookies and you thought of me. You didn't think of me. You didn't send them to me. <laughs> oh. I you know what? 
the last time we talked, I felt like I offended you because I was like, don't poison me. <laughs> that was so rude. But I didn't mean it in a bad way. And I know you you didn't take it that way. I, I take it that you didn't take it that way. Please. And then I was like, oh no, she hasn't been around because I said, don't poison me. <laughs> I have to yes I know I will <laughs> oh my goodness hi Denise how are you I haven't seen you in a I'm seeing a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time no man that's why I'm sending you a prepackage <laughs> you can send me real ones I don't mind I know you're not gonna kill me I was just joking <laughs> next time we have a dinner party bring papi shampoo I know you live in New York too right I should go up there and visit y'all I want to meet Scylla but well the last time I didn't get to meet her because she had stuff to do I want to meet y'all and I want to meet you how's the the mister is working I'm over here putting under eye cream under my eyes <laughs> Bronx yes half half an hour from Manhattan okay so um okay um when we go offline I'm gonna go on to IG because I have questions my, my family lives um in the Bronx too so the next time I'm in the Bronx I'm gonna go wait I'm I'm going up for gem beauty but I'm probably not gonna be able to see anybody doing gem beauty um because strictly going to like get my free stuff you'll be right back okay I'll try not to leave <laughs> um uh yeah there's a YouTuber that's coming up from North Carolina in October and you're going to visit her too. Who? Who that? What's the matter? Skin burn? Me? Is my skin burn? No, I'm I'm normal. Well I'm red. I'm always red. I got I got a tan. Don't you see my nice my nice color? <laughs> Go to IG and I'll send you my info. Okay. So what I was going to say is you're not going to go to Gem Beauty, right? Because you don't do the whole makeup thing. Um, because I'm going to be staying at my cousin's house and she lives in the Bronx. Uh, so I know I'm definitely going to meet up with Cha because she's going to Gem Beauty too. I hope um, she did get tickets so yeah <clears throat> you said yes cuz cuz I'm I'm not burnt I mean I am burnt but I'm not burnt <laughs> I feel like my my well I'm just red I did a mask <laughs> no I can't afford it right now to go to gem beauty though honestly it's all good the ticket is super expensive right now it wasn't when when we first um she said not a good tan a good tan <laughs> um they're a lot more expensive now and i think even with the 80 dollars off it still comes out being like 90 dollars per person they're expensive they're expensive t tickets so I don't tan very well. I'm a fair skin person who gets red like a lobster. So this is like me tan. My face is naturally flushed. So but like well not even. You if I look all one color for some reason. But my neck is still white. I have a lot of different colors going on. I got I got tan, I got white, I got red. I don't know. It is what it is. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm hot. Maybe that's what it is. I'm hot. So, how are you, Denise? I hadn't seen you in a long time either. Where have you girls been? In your own world, doing your own things, living your own life. Is that is that what's going on? In the hospital for 13 days? What? How? What happened? Wait, how am I just finding this out now? I didn't know you were in the hospital. What did you have? I'm sorry to hear that. Was it you? You were in the hospital? Dang. I have been under a rock. Well, I haven't been on for like two weeks, like doing lives. Okay, well, welcome back. <laughs> oh, what did you have? I mean, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. That's what I should be asking, not what do you have? Why are you sick? I ask too many inappropriate questions. Just tell me. I, I can't answer. Like, whenever someone says that something's going on, I'm like, what? Tell me more. Why? How? When did that happen? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Better. Aw. Um, that Denise was in the hospital, and I'm just finding this out now. <laughs> You'll ask for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so inquisitive. <laughs> I'm always asking <laughs> what's going on with everyone. Oh, I'm involved. You guys are my friends. That's why. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Ooh. Yesterday, I, I just touched... Um, yesterday, I was opening a can and I sliced my finger a little bit. And I like I felt I feel like there's something inside the slice, but I don't see it. And I just touched it. I'll keep it private. No worries. We understand. Oh well, I I hope that everything is okay. And I hope that um, you know. You're, you're better now, so we're glad about that. And I'm sorry that I'm so nosy. I'm nosy. Uh, so, yeah. So I felt that I... I feel It feels like there's something in here, but I can't see. And I don't want to, like, break it open and hurt myself further. And then I cut myself with paper. Those hurt more than cutting yourself with a knife for some reason. You understand, but I hope you're okay. Yeah. And I use a lot of hand sanitizer at work. So, um, every time I sanitized my hand, it was burning. I was like, ah! <laughs> mm. Well, on a, on a happier note, are you going to be, um crocheting anything new for the winter do you have any new patterns I have a lot of yarn that I'm not going to use do you want some because I have I have like three totes of yarn <laughs> she said always hats <laughs> um, I went on this like whole like I'm gonna, you know, crochet everything from now on. <laughs> um, you've been doing a blanket for months now. I did one blanket. And it took me... Well, I worked on it, like, little by little. Because it was, like, granny squares. 
and it had, um and I had flowers on the different um, squares had flowers on it that in total took me like three months to make because I would only work on it like one hour at a time only like on certain days you uh, you've been doing a blanket for months now <laughs> and then you said made a scarf but I'm really working on my blanket queen size I was asking you Denise my mom used to crochet but you never got to learn you can do a basic braid or whatever it's called <laughs> um chain a chain you can do a chain um i i can i'm self-taught and i've made a couple of things i actually have a bunch of stuff in my other room i should show you one day you love some you love to you love something new? Yeah. Um, what kind of yarn do you like? Like, do you... Because I have a bunch of the, um... Uh, Red Heart one. Red, Red Heart. Do you use that? <laughs> she said yes. Um, I have a bunch of Red Heart. And then I used to go to Michael's and buy, like, those bundles. But I have some that... Um, show us now. Show us now. Ay, ay, ay. I have a bunch of projects that are not done. Give me one second. Let me let me go grab some. I got some unfinished projects here. <laughs> um, okay, so this right here is a like one pattern. This is a scarf that I never finished. I don't know what this is called. And then I have this is a is a hat that I made. It's probably all like wonky now. Like, it's one of those, well, you know, this. <laughs> it's a big floppy hat <laughs> that I made. It's nothing special. It's a pretty basket weave. Then I have a bunch of these granny type squares that I did to make a blanket in white. Dee Dee, I never learn. Hey, I need to learn. I did I miss something from earlier? You said sewing machine. She said red heart. I use that. Wait a minute. Let me go back. Show us now. You learn quilting. You can't even sew. I have a I have a sewing machine in that room. All right, and then I have here. This is another granny square that I was doing, um, uh, whatchamacallit, another, this was gonna be a scarf, but just made out of granny squares. Then I have a bow, I got a, I got a whole bag of bows that I made. Um, they're just like simple stitches. I don't know, like, just put this on. I, I used to like wearing bows, but I'll put, like, if I had a high ponytail, then this. Like a little kid. <laughs> um, yeah, I have I have a bunch of other stuff in that other room too. This is a black one. A purple one. They're all the same stitch. Um, and a white bow. But I have like a bunch of yarn. And I know and then I just put them on a like one of those clip things. And they're glued. So, 
oh and then I have I made um I made a what's it called um a braid scarf so it was like it's all like regular um what stitch did I use I think I did like a half stitch um what is it not um you know how there's one and there's like the half stitch and then there's the double so I did a double stitch throughout it, like the, the three rows, but then they're cro like it's it's a braid, it's braided, and then it's all like crocheted around so that it can look solid. But that's downstairs. I make a whole bunch of stuff. I make a lot of hats. I make a lot of like beanies or berets, whatever you want to call them. Half double. Yeah, that's it. You're crafty girl <laughs> with a glue gun <laughs> and you can make a mean wreath. We all have our attributes, right? I am not good with the, with the hot glue gun. I glue everything around. But I try. <laughs> um, this is as crafty as it gets. So, yeah. I felt like I should have finished. I think I'm going to finish this one. For um, for winter, maybe this will be my scarf this year, and then I'll put like little whatever's I forget what they're called tassels, little the, the little tassels things. Oh, and you know what else I make? Um, you know those um so it's basically a scarf but just fatter, and you can wear it as a hood or as a scarf fringe that's the word but you know I'm self-taught so what do I know <laughs> but yeah these are some some of my little stuff it it's not like the infinity scarf is thinner this is like um half scarf and half hood so it's like it's just bigger um so you can wear it scrunched down as a scarf or you could pull it up and wear it as a hood. I don't know what they're called. But they're not infinity. Infinity is like. It's called a school. Scooty. Is that how you say it? You never seen them? Oh I made. I had a bunch of. Okay. Um, I'm going to send you pictures. Because I made a set for someone. I used to sell my stuff. I mean I'm self taught. But I think I. It's a. It's all right it's well done it's not gonna fall apart <laughs> um so I did sell some stuff and I sold a bunch of those like that you put over your head because people were like oh it's so awesome like I don't want to have a hat on but I want a scarf but if I'm if I get cold you know I want to be able to pull it up so after here I'm gonna go on to Instagram and I'm gonna um I'm going to send you pictures of what I did. <laughs> That's a Poshmark item. What's a Poshmark item? A scooty? <laughs> a scarf? Hoodie? A scooty. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it would be. This got me excited. Now maybe I will crochet a little bit more. And I have all types of thicknesses of yarn. Like, as you saw, this colorful one is like a thick yarn. Um, and I love the thick yarn. Although, it doesn't keep you very warm. <laughs> Dang. You need... Wait, wait. Dang it, I need Insta. <laughs> What's the name? What's what name? <laughs> My Instagram name? This one, I need to thread this back in here. It's falling apart a little bit. Just a little bit. This doesn't even go here. This is just random yarn. <laughs> I will have nothing but that. <laughs> Wait, what? I, Krista, I'm so confused right now. And I thought the blanket that I did was really cute. She said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I 
I'm getting like half sentences. If you get an Instagram, if you do want to open it, I'm now you see it and you can follow me there and then we can talk but just let me know that it's you because I won't remember because I have a lot of people on Instagram and then I'm like who are you now I have people calling me on Instagram why are you calling me I'm sorry I meant I don't have any Instagram <laughs> oh well, you know, you can always be a private Instagrammer. I should really finish this blanket. This granny, I forgot how I did this granny square. It's not exactly like sitting well. Anybody else, like their granny squares don't stretch the right way? You just started Snapchat. I barely snapchat ever since it became like that weird new snapchat I don't um I don't really use it that often so yeah um what color is the blanket that you're making I have my grandma um made me a white and yellow uh, crocheted blanket which I have downstairs in the basement. Um, I've had it for years. She passed away a while back. But that's like the one thing that I have that she gave me ever. And it's so beautiful. But I'm scared to like use it. Because I don't want it to get like all ugly. You're making your blanket with. Um, what? Chin stitches. What's that? Granny squares feel like. It never gets <laughs> bigger. Um, and, uh, but my idea is when I have m my children, they can, they can have the blanket. I'll be, I'll be good to like part with it then. It's wine, dark gray, and navy blue. Oh, that sounds good. She said, oh. OMG, chain, <laughs> chain, <laughs> ongoing chain, wait, what do you mean an ongoing chain, like, just single stitch, like a, like one stitch, I'm confused, okay, you'll send me pictures, that's better <laughs> it's hard to like know and then I also loom do you loom does anybody loom looming is cool you get things done faster last year my um, the church that I used to attend they did like um they did an outreach where they uh, went to the streets and gave homeless people um, scarves um and gloves and uh hats and i made for that project i uh, made like 25 hats myself to donate and then i some of them i made in sets like the hat um the scarf and like the um, the fingerless gloves um, and then some of them I made just like um, the hat and the scarf. <laughs> she said, Lord help me, y'all so crafty. <laughs> you, you have a knitting machine? A knitting machine? What? I'm not a professional at this, but I learned um, once self-taught. Yeah, whenever I want to do something special, like, or I see... A stitch that I don't know I go on to YouTube and I'll be like how do you make that stitch or what's this stitch I want to do a peacock stitched um what's it called scarf but I don't have the patience <laughs> she said I have a mean glue gun and I ain't afraid to use it <laughs> it's all good you make wreaths you probably make other stuff too because if you're good with a, a hot glue gun, 
then you can make like flower arrangements or there's a lot of things you could do with a glue gun I own two glue guns I don't often use them like I said I get glue everywhere <laughs> what is this but um yeah I have a sewing machine I don't sew very often either but I I kind of know what I'm doing I made a skirt and I made I made a couple of things they're not very like beautiful <laughs> but they're usable I uh, I was making um well back back when I was at my other church I used to do praise dance so I made a overlay for on top of my dress but it's it still needs to be like stitched on the bottom so it's sitting in that room too me too sewing machine <laughs> you want to make those diaper cakes but no one knows but no one you know is having a baby well as soon as I have a baby or I'm gonna have a baby I'll let you guys know and then you can send me one of those diaper cakes because I think they're super cute <laughs> beading cross stitch knitting because you can crochet and so I know <laughs> I know you can take classes but I'm a big baby when it comes to that everything that I learn I learn like I was like I said I'm self-taught I was like I, I already knew how to do the chain then my friend she was crocheting and I was like looking at her and I'm like I want to try that so she taught me like how to do like basic things then after that I just kept on going and then I was like well I want to do I saw this other stitch and like I'll go to Pinterest and they'll tell you different names and then I couldn't see it from pictures so then I would go on to YouTube and I'm like how do you do this and I just figured it out till it started looking okay She said, crochet sewing machine. I'm crazy. No. You're having a food baby. You ate pizza. Wait a minute. Did you hear this? Like, on the news today, they were talking about how pizza's killing people? What? Did you hear that? I think they're making stuff up so that we don't eat uh, pizza. <laughs> oh, diaper cakes are phenomenal. They're so cute. I want to... You know, I've seen diaper cakes. She said, oh, <laughs> OMG, no way. Like, what? Um, yeah, it was on the news. I guess it was slow news day. So pizza's killing people. <laughs> um, I was going to say, the uh, I saw this diaper cake. And it was a bike. Like a little... Like, they try to make it into a motorcycle. It was so cute. I wish I, I had pictures of it. I was like, oh my goodness, I want to have a boy and I want that diaper cake. <laughs> I think it would be so cute. It would be so expensive to ship those. But you know, um, Jesse, you could just make them and sell them. People do buy them. You can have your own little store on Etsy or something like that. You yeah, know. That that is a thing. I I wish that I was like that outgoing that I would make like a little store and sell all this stuff that I make. <laughs> Cause I make jewelry. She said laugh I love the dollar one from the Bronx, from the Bronx pizza. Oh my goodness. Um she just said that and I just thought about Barnes. With a super sliced pizza. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Have you been to Barnes? In Yonkers? There was one um, great one in Fordham. Are you close to Fordham? Yes, it's like a two foot pizza. Girl, that pizza is so good. It's like uh, this big. <laughs> big that's what she said <laughs> oh my goodness now I'm hungry for pizza dang it 
so I was saying I also make jewelry which I haven't made anything in a long time I'm trying to see if I have anything that I make like these are some earrings I made she said sorry let's see what I got over here I haven't made jewelry in a long time. You you love to bead too? I have a lot of like rinky stuff because I was just using whatever beads I had left over to make stuff. So like, like I have this. That one has like that little shell thing. Those are falling apart. Nope. Where are the ones that I made? I don't have any of like the nice ones that I made in here. All I have is like the ugly ones. Why yes, I love them. <laughs> Gladly accepting birthday presents. <laughs> but you weave. Um you you have piercings? Is that is that what you're saying to me? Do you have um do you wear earrings? I'm not good. Oh, you're not good at jewelry making. I um, most definitely can send you uh, some earrings. Darn it. I have nothing here that I made. What I have is fake stuff that I didn't make. <laughs> she said so cool jewelry. These look awesome. I have these other ones I made. What's your favorite color? I'll see what I what I have. A lot of these are just like really like funky beads. I took a course on bead weaving. You weave it. Look at me. You weave it. You weave it. <laughs> you weave it into what? Like fabric? I have these. I have a whole box and right now I can't find nothing. These ones. Blue. Blue's your favorite color? Okay. I'll see what I have in the blue. I have these. Can I ask what domination what denomination I am? Um I'm non denominational. <laughs> you can make some money off of them. I really could have. I should have. Um no my my church is non denominational. Um because, um, well, not because, well, yeah. They're in a neighborhood where there's a lot of people who are Catholic, but there's people who are Catholic that goes to my church that are Pentecostal, that are um, Baptist, like everybody. So it's non-denominational. It's just Christian. Didi, I'm going to come watch her videos. <laughs> yes, go watch her videos. Um, what's blues? Blues? Uh, I'm... Cool, me too. I just wanted that. No worries. Yeah, um, I, I don't like the word religion. Like it, it, uh, religion comes with rules and, or laws, I should say, laws that don't exist anymore. Um, 
you should all we should love one another look at me i'm over here preaching <laughs> we should love one another no matter who we are or how we are or what we do and um that's just how i feel about everything <laughs> you don't make you're not making videos what you used to but are you gonna start again it's okay i need more crafting buddies <laughs> I don't even know where, like, my thing to make earrings is at my, uh, the color of jewelry. Oh, the blue. Um, I don't know. Where is that thing? I don't know what I'm saying. I can't remember what I'm saying. I'm trying to see if I have anything else that I can show you that I particularly made. Because I got, I got rid of a whole lot. When I moved over here, I gave away a whole bunch, like a whole box of stuff. I was like, I don't want to have no more stuff hanging out. Preach, girl. <laughs> uh, it's just, um, yeah. There's just so much hate in the world that I don't want to contribute to more. That's how I feel. That's the basic of why why I chose to go to a non-denominational non church. Because you don't have that, like, we just don't believe like everybody else does. And let me see. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to look. Oh, these, I wear these often. Oh, the rose fell. Um, I wear these often. Sorry. They're like wood beads. And they have this little star thing. I think that's cute. Well, it's all curled up. But it does go straight. <laughs> I like these. There's certain ones that I fell in love with. Hi! Hi, Glam Beauty! <laughs> I'm still calling you Glam Beauty instead of your actual name. Because every time I see you, I instantly say Glam. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing good. I'm good. This, this video has gone from masking to talking about all types of things. Now I'm showing them my some of the jewelry I made. Like, I just have, like, really... <laughs> she said, Danny. <laughs> this one. I like... They're moving too much. Um, this has, like, little specks of this orange. So, I just paired it up with that. And I threw out so many beads. Yeah, I had like these cheap crystal things because I like them to be lightweight too. So the, um, yeah, you guys get the gist of things. <laughs> so what else? Now that we saw some of my jewelry. That's it. We have to pimp out mommy shampoo jewelry line on IG. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mommy. No, I'm mommy conditioner soft as silk. He's poppy shampoo. You forgot my name. <laughs> Didn't you know that? <laughs> poppy shampoo. And mommy conditioner soft as silk. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I lost some earrings on the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And they're real ones. These shouldn't even be in there. Okay. 
<laughs> Crystal's laughing at me. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> so, so weird question. What's the weird question? Uh oh. Should I brace myself? Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me, I'm, uh, the suspense is killing me. And then I have this other one. <laughs> so a whole backstory of mommy and poppy shampoo line. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> You guys, <laughs> it's like my big sister. I never had <laughs> like what everything you need. Like if you need any palette, perfume, jewelry, everything else, she has everything. <laughs> have you ever been on a live and have someone ask you to show your heels, like shoes, or like the heel of my foot? <laughs> Me laugh. <laughs> um, so cute. <laughs> Twice that happened, and I don't know. It struck me as odd. Shoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> are your shoes in the room where you where you do your live stream, or is probably somebody with a foot fetish that wants to see? That's it. I'm charging. <laughs> ISF Apple Pay, PayPal, Love <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm silly. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> um, no, no one's ever asked me to sh to show them my heels, but because they probably assume I don't wear any, and I really don't. Um. Uh, but I know Destin has shoes in her in her room, and they've. People have asked to see her pumps, and um, I think someone asked my friend Anna to see her feet, and she was like, ew, somebody get them. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. No lie, I had someone do that to tell me. He, he offered me to buy, he offered to buy you new sneakers, sneakers, heels, and eat. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> Oh, really? They wanted to give you um, a meal and everything? A meal, some sneakers. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> People are cray cray. That's weird. No, um, no one's asked me that. But I had someone say something about porn on my channel one time. Um, and then uh, none of my mods were around. And then my friend Glitz came, and he was a mod, and he got him. But I was like, dang. <laughs> yes, he had a foot fetish. Man, <laughs> step on him. And crap. What? He wanted somebody to step on him? <laughs> I don't know if I'm reading that too quickly. Why am I still looking over here? We already finished that conversation. <laughs> let, me, let me pay attention to you guys. All right. Yes, he had a foot fetish, man. Step on him and crap, man. That was crazy. <laughs> Why is this a thing? What, um, what, the foot thing? I don't know. There's weird people out there. <laughs> yes, his junk area with new shoes and heels. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> There's crazy people everywhere, not just, um, wait, what's L.I.? Long Island? You were 24? <laughs> he said, come step on me, I'll buy you the shoes, and we'll can, we can have dinner after you bruise me. <laughs> crazy. You brought that up. I know. It, it wasn't on purpose. It was just like the question. It was like, did anybody ask to see your heels? And I'm like... Wait, because I know people have foot fetishes, so I'm like, I don't have any heels in my room. They probably wouldn't ask for that. 
<laughs> it happened to you in the last two lives. She said, Daddy, <laughs> OMG. <laughs> I'm so red right now. Oh my goodness. I need to cool off. <laughs> Did you block? It wasn't the same person? Because maybe you need to block them. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> OMG, look at the time. No way. I've been on here way too long. I've been on here way, 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 way too long. OMG, <laughs> anyone ever... What stuck your what stuck on your toe? <laughs> I haven't done one strangest thing. No, I don't. <laughs> There's a story that is not mine to tell, but okay. So I know someone who used to suck their brother's toe. And their brother used to suck their toe. And I was like, what the heck? Like, one day I, I walked in, and I was like, what are you guys doing? They were sucking on each other's big toe. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> uh, someone had two <laughs> shades of gray. Maybe it was <laughs> dumb, but I was, what? But let me show your shoes on, uh, wait a minute, your shoes on camera. <laughs> this chat is, <laughs> it's too funny. Oh no, two seconds. <laughs> it is your fault, Krista. <laughs> oh no, but not sucking. It was like. It was so weird because like one was sitting here and the other one was sitting there and it was just like just their legs. <laughs> it was like, oh, I was like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> oh, big toes are sexy, man. <laughs> I don't know about all of that. That is hilarious though. <laughs> she said, ew, <laughs> ew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. If I had story times, they would be so hilarious. Because I have stories for days. <laughs> I just don't want all my my life to be out there. <laughs> I can't stop tearing up over here. Oh, uh, like, that's crazy. I wonder if they still do that. They're grown now. <laughs> oh Lord, I didn't. Ha I don't have those. I'm an only child, just so you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you love my lifetime. It's come to the time where we get all giddy and laugh, and we just make no sense at all. <laughs> oh Lord. This is how, well, Krista, you've never been here before, but this is how it usually is. Just me constantly laughing. <laughs> you can't imagine Christmas time. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Everybody's sitting around sucking on each other's toes. Start a new blank screen to start voice and tell the story. Oh, oh Lord. Mm. Pass the ham. Oh, what is my life? 
<laughs> Put the yarn on the toes. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> the Hannibal like their mask. <laughs> I can't, I can't with y'all, I can't. <laughs> you ever like start laughing and then you start thinking about other funny things and then all of a sudden you're like, you don't even know what you're laughing, to, uh, laughing at anymore, but it's so funny to you because you're like, oh my goodness. This happens to me every time I start laughing. I picture other things that kind of go with it and I'm like no one else knows why I'm laughing so much <laughs> just me <laughs> stop it's my dog like what the hell is wrong with you what <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's nice to it's nice to hear me laugh oh, I haven't laughed in a long time right <laughs> oh <laughs> you know laughing actually makes you younger so we need to do it more often <laughs> oh no uh, imagine if I had a crazy laugh <laughs> oh. <laughs> remember that one time live <laughs> you live longer too right remember that one time that i was laughing so much that i couldn't breathe and i turned super red and they're like somebody get her so what what did you guys say somebody give me some air they're like the next mask that she needs is the red canceling mask because <laughs> i got so red oh my goodness oh good times <laughs> and all because of heel <laughs> I can't help myself now. Oh Lord, you guys did this to me. Wait, <laughs> I need, I need my fan. <sighs> I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't do it this time. No, you didn't. <laughs> Things to always expect in my li in my lives. Me laughing. <laughs> okay, I got less red. Um, and we always talk about cookies. <laughs> Although today we didn't spend a lot of time talking about cookies. But now what cookies? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm choking over here. <clears throat> Was it you who did it the last time? No, we can't go from toes to cookies no more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, pass the ham. And and your pinky. <laughs> to want to suck on anybody's toes no not at all <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this video on private now because <laughs> like, it just got really strange at the end oh. <laughs> oh lord all right so we need to transition into another conversation <laughs> oh. but I don't know where to go after this where do we go? No, it's perfect. You covered everything. Well, we covered everything. Uh. <laughs> From head to toe. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like they want jelly on their toes. <laughs> oh lord 
That is crazy. Where do we go from here? Where do we go? <laughs> so in short, nobody has asked to see my heels. <laughs> wrong <laughs> oh lord I need this fan I'm crying <laughs> oh. so <laughs> where do we go next <laughs> no one's gonna answer where do we go next where do we go next oh lord <laughs> Listen, I just hope <laughs> they were clean and well pedicured. Two kids do not wash between their toes very well. <laughs> and wait when we get off. I'm going to tell you something else, Jesse. <laughs> So fetish. <laughs> Someone who loves feet is gonna come to watch this video and it's gonna just be like thumbs down. <laughs> so now back to the villain makeup stuff. Yeah. Um, so I need to figure out look at me, figure out like if that's a sign for something. Um, when it's gonna be, but I I think it's gonna be I think I want to do it for the end of this month but I need to make sure because I don't want to jump on anybody else's collab time um and then just like soup oh my goodness just like superheroes um it's gonna be villains and I think I want it to be villains of any kind uh, cause I had it open like that before it was like, before it was like superheroes of any kind, cartoon, you know, any comic book, whatever. So I want the same thing for the villain and it could be, again, your interpretation. It's going to be either like you could do an eyeshadow look or you could do a full face. You can go all crazy or, um, like however, however you want to do it. You can be as creative as you want to be, or as simple as you want to be, or you can just wear a costume. It's your interpretation. <laughs> she said, I'm free. <laughs> At first I was like, you're F. What? <laughs> <coughs> oh no. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then, then we'll just all post on the same day. And link each other's channels and use the hashtag that's the only real like real rules that I have um, that's it that's really it but I need to I need to get with the other girls because they're definitely going to be doing it as well since we already did one part and then um and then we'll go from there and then we'll figure out what other collabs we want to do I got a perfect idea for for you, Jesse. But I I can't say it here because then everybody will hear it. <laughs> the perfect idea for collapse. Um. She said, "Okay." <laughs> oh. You guys still there? <laughs> don't tell me so. No, not at all. Why did you bring them up again? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Attack of the killer toe tickler. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that a villain? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I went to put a mint in my mouth and try to slide out to the other side. <laughs> oh. Listen, 
we're having a lot of fun. But <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I'm just going to post my thing to her IG later. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> You're going to get all these foot fetish guys that are going to be like, 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 like. <laughs> um, <clears throat> on that note, I'm gonna be ending <laughs> my life. Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go because it's like gonna be 11. It's 10:38. I didn't intend to be on this long at all so I love you girls so much uh, thank you for coming through <laughs> oh and making me laugh mm. <laughs> good night y'all love y'all <laughs> bye